Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another holiday Thanksgiving Christmas spectacular oh, special ghost. There's a ghost, ghost in adventure. Ghost. Yeah, yeah, we became, we became ghosts that one time. And then got no, we become buster. ghosts every time. That's oh, how yeah, this we works. Do. Remember, we, we <laughs> oh, try yeah. to go somewhere and then we eventually die and then we're yeah. ghosts. Yeah, that's, alright, now I remember. Um, oh, we, so hey, my name's Rob. Um, <laughs> hey, Rob. Hey, and this is this Crandor. Hey, Crandor. Hey, how you doing? It's me, Crandor. So, what do we do in these things again? What, so, what are... <laughs> I believe this is our fifth one. I ah, still don't know. Yes, it's, uh... our fifth Thanksgiving <laughs> holiday Christmas. Is, wait, is it Christmas special too? I think it's a Christmas special. I think one time Ghost, it was very Ghost, close to Christmas. Ghostbusters special. Yeah, and we do every year. That is just two hours of me and Crendor talking about things. Yeah, it's pretty much us getting together to be like, so how's your life? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really what it is. Hey, look how wide your shoulders are. By That was so rude of that guard that walked by. What an anyway, asshole. Well, look how wide your shoulders are compared to like a female orc. Oh, well, yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's that's a little silly. Wow, that's silly! Have they always been? Is it always been well, like this? Well, that is strange. pretty crazy. It's, it's like massive orc shoulders. You would think the orc female would also be pretty like strong and have like giant shoulders as well because they're both like warriors. They're both like. Well, imagine how small your penis would look. Now, hold on. Just stay right. with me. Okay? <laughs> like, right. just I just want to imagine. Imagine if you had shoulders as broad as they were. Well, I mean, look at me. I'm I'm kind of a tiny little orc here, right? All so right. proportionally, most orc males must be able to fit inside of my female orc parts. So I, I think naked, you wouldn't look very good. I think you'd look like you'd be this giant guy with his big hulking shoulders and then, you know, mm -hmm. kind of got a little dong. Huh. Uh, hmm. huh. We need to ask Chris Metzen about orc genitalia. <laughs> we get the chance. I don't know. Does he even... I don't even think he's with Blizzard. Or right now he's with Overwatch, right? Well, no, I don't think he works at Blizzard anymore, but I assume that he still keeps up and, you know, the uh, lore, yeah. you know? So if there's somebody that's going to know these questions, they're, they're going to be the cell. All right, we better get walking. I'm yeah, talking. we got it. <laughs> we got it. We're going on our adventure. It's been like one minute. We've talked about orc genitalia <laughs> and shoulders. <laughs> that's my fault. That's because you invited me, and that's this, this is just where I go. Yeah. So I feel like... We should still have like a little thing of like, what do you do? Who are you? Why are you oh, here? Sure. So my name's Rob, and I also make internet videos. And my internet videos are about role playing, and they're like kind of like a like a Dungeons and Dragons role play show. And you know, we tell stories, and we got puppets, and it's really confusing. If you'd like to check it out, you can check it out. But I also just make goofy stuff. You know, yeah. like. Uh, you know, people might remember me. I made some old WoW videos from back in the day, like Jimmy the World of Warcraft story. Uh, if you play Hearthstone, I made, like, Period of Cards last year. Uh, you know, I just make fun little videos and, like, Grandor, you know, just yeah. making making videos on the internet, doing streams and stuff like that. So, hey, here's a fun and crazy guy. Dude, look at this hair, though. Look at my hair. Oh, my God. You know, I knew, that, <laughs> I knew they redid hair physics, but this is crazy. That is some yeah. great hair physics. Look at that. It's just bobs. It's kind of like a snake. Wow. Yeah, it is. I really like this. Yeah. Does it even like just like side to side? Oh, it does. It's oh, not wow. as good as I would have hoped. But yeah. It's still like, pretty solid. I wish I could like spin really fast and whip and hit myself in the face with it. That's <laughs> that's the physics we're missing. Whip your hair back and forth. I, pro I don't even know if it's physics. It's probably just actually song. part of the animation. I wait. What song? Like I whip my hair, hair back, back and forth. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm I can't help you here. <laughs> this is this is you. I I'm I'm lost. Well, actually, that song's pretty old. Ooh, oh, I'm like, angry. Not oh, I gotta lost. Google this. I whip my hair. Oh, there it is. Willow Smith. That was Will Smith's daughter. What really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Huh? Yeah. So whip my old. hair. It's 2010. Yeah, seven Holy years ago. Shit. Almost eight now. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's almost. Man. Like, I remember I started YouTube in 09. Shit, dude. That's so, wow. Cool. Let's talk about wow. 
because if we don't talk about WoW now, we'll derail into talking about how much <laughs> this industry sucks or yeah. something like that. Because that's, that's all we end up doing is talking about our personal experiences of YouTube and things. Yeah. So thus, let's before right. we devolve into ranting about our lives that all are right. great because you and me just make videos for a living. Yes. Um, I'm kind of excited for this next WoW expansion. I am too. I'm. It's one of those things where it's not the most hype hypey expansion but it looks fun still i mean it had the most hype video for an expansion just like the the cinematic they had of the horde and alliance fighting That's that true. was that was pretty amazing mm -hmm. that, like that was a fun video to, for them to make well but i, I've never, I mean I, like really cared about alliance versus horde is that like an unpopular opinion I don't think so, and I think that's not necessarily even your fault, because, like, in uh, World of Warcraft, there really hasn't been much Alliance versus Horde, versus Horde at all. It's mm. always been like, let's fight this big, bad, evil villain, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I love Blizzard games. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're the greatest. I'm, just, I, I'm, just, I'm yeah. always impressed with what they do. But, I mean, they, the stories can be kind of sucky, because yeah. it's an MMORPG, and they decided they wanted to go with the story of everybody's this champion hero. And it's hard to write, like, lore I'm going to care about when everybody's, mm -hmm. like, a champion stuff, you yeah. know? So, I'm not really too thrilled with their lore. But then they, they haven't had a lot of, like, Horde vs. Alliance. This is our first real Horde vs. I guess Warlords of Draenor was kind of like that. Well, but it also just felt like an orc expansion. Mr. Pandaria was a lot like that. So that was where we like they both crash land on the Pandaria, and then there's like stupid alliance shooting their shit down, like hordes, like all the. Like. Yeah, that's what I wonder. Do you think this is going to be kind of like that, where it starts off horde of alliance, and then by the first raid tier, oh man, we're fighting the ancient <laughs> wizard Glockathor. He's bringing <laughs> back demons, and I'm dead again, guys. <laughs> is that what's, what's going to happen? Uh, we're going to fight I, Bolvar this expansion. Well, I don't know. Well, Teldrassil is supposed to burn down. Yeah. You know what would be cool? If the raids were uh, Horde Alliance raids. So, like, if in the Alliance raid, you, the final boss of the final expansion was to fight, like, Sylvanas. So Sylvanas oh, dies yeah. in canon. But in Alliance, it's to kill Anduin. So we both come out <laughs> as losers with, like, we both fight each other down and kill all our heroes. That would yeah. actually be pretty cool, but I don't think they'd ever do that. Nah, they, they wouldn't do that. But. It's one of those things where... It's like, I feel like maybe back in the day they'd experiment a little more with that, but now they just have a very, it's like formulaic, essentially. Yeah. I've kind of, this, this might be an expansion where I try to do, um, um, and I, actually this is a good time to talk about with you. I was kind of thinking, I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. um, what if, okay, mm -hmm. you did some sort of like community guild, okay, right. with just your fans, start from level one, mm -hmm. and I did some sort of community guild, right? Yeah. One of us goes Horde, one of us Alliance. You know, maybe we even do some theming. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you, you do, like, all Torrens and Orcs, or all Orcs and Trolls or something. Yeah. The thing is, if you don't do any theming in any of these guilds, all you're really doing is just making a guild. Yeah, and exactly. that's fine. We can make guilds. <laughs> you, you know, if we wanted to do that, we you and me would have done that by now. Yeah. But um, I don't know if you remember this, because I think it was before you and me played WoW back in the day. But yeah. I had this weird guild there was a role play guild and it was in uh, burning crusade where everybody in the guild had to be blood elf. They had to be female blood elf and you could be a <laughs> mage or a priest. And everybody had in their username, sister before their, whatchamacallit. Oh, and then, yeah. and everybody was just a sister and they were all just like <laughs> weird sister monks. But it was funny. Cause this was like when I was really popular in world of Warcraft. So when I told people I was doing it, we hit the guild cap that day. There's just like 500 blood elves <laughs> walking around in town. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I think I remember you doing that. But I, I think I remember like the tail end of it, where you were like mm -hmm. finally slowing down. I think you were like moving towards doing our actual guild we made. Yeah, well, when you do these type of guilds, generally they're the type of thing where they're really fun for a few weeks or a month, yeah. and then people, you know, the novelty move wears on. off. The novelty wears off. Yeah. Should we go into Orgrimmar or not go into Orgrimmar? Oh, I have no idea where we're going. I mean, we might as well go to Orgrimmar. <laughs> yeah. Have we have we really explored Orgrimmar that much? It's, I feel like we've been everywhere in all of our adventures in this game, mm -hmm. like doing this ghost run that I don't really remember. Wait, what? You disappeared. That's oh, zooming. that's right. I think it's if you go into cities, you don't, you can't be in a city together unless you're on the same server. No, I see you. You're leaving the city. Look. What? 
I didn't turn around. Oh, now you just zoned out. You gotta zone back in, trust me. I just zoned, I just went back in. Oh, I'm oh. in Orgrimmar. So can't you see me? No. I'm right there in front of you. I I'm right see, there in front of you. I don't see you. I'm right on your left. You're not. You got. I you're am. Not. I'm right oh, wait, behind there you. There you go. <laughs> I was hiding behind this rock the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> uh, uh, getting fate. back to <laughs> getting back to your thing. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be fun. But uh, we we're talking about it a bit because you were saying, I think it'd be more fun doing like a classic WoW server where not everybody was max level and we couldn't get gang like we'd be yeah see th this is the thing too so if we want let's say we did this type of guild that was like a horde versus lion skill right mm -hmm. first off um i think we'd have to have some rules and i think rule number one would have to be like no tryhards you know yeah. this has to be a non-content guild mm -hmm. this has to be like if you're coming in you're coming in for some funds yeah. some giggles pure memes maybe, yeah, pure, just some role play, some, you know, maybe you want to meet some, some wow friends or something. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't, we ain't maxing out and killing raid bosses. That's yeah. ridiculous. Like maybe some people from the guilds will meet up and they'll go do shit. They're cool, but yeah. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. Um, I just, I just like the idea of, you know, you're a bunch of orcs and I'm a bunch of humans <laughs> and we go to some random, place in the middle of nowhere and you got like a hundred level 20 people and i got a hundred level 20 <laughs> people and we fight over like a box yeah that's it right and <laughs> then never... you put out a video and it's like the defense of the box <laughs> yeah and it's like why do you fight over the box and it's like well <laughs> we make our own lore man you yeah know? we make our own lore yeah there's like a special banana and we fight over it and stuff and like claim like buildings deep... claim bu oh my goodness you claim buildings and i gotta get everybody and then come attack the building but mm -hmm. then it won't be successful, and I'm like, retreat, and then we just run away. <laughs> but then you come and attack my building, but then it's not successful, and then you're like, retreat. Yeah, you, you just make your own fun. Yeah, exactly. That's I would like to play a WoW guild that basically doesn't play WoW. That's mm -hmm. that's what I'm... <laughs> not that it doesn't play WoW, but it plays like the idea of Warcraft at its fundamental of just zog zog walking around, hitting people with axes, you know? <laughs> Well, that's what you were saying with Classic WoW, or that's why I was looking forward to Classic WoW, because it was a little more like that, but you were saying you're not looking forward to Classic WoW. Okay, well, look, I think it's really cool that Blizzard has actually caved and yeah. uh, is doing Classic WoW. I think that's really awesome that they've decided to take this uh, burden on. Mm -hmm. um, I say burden because... I fundamentally believe we're going to get less of an expansion because they're doing this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just makes sense. What, are they, what do you think? They're hiring a whole new World of Warcraft team to make Classic? No. We're going to have to use developer resources and uh, QA resources, you know, to get this Classic WoW. So right off the bat, we're split. We're dividing the game into to two things, right? And I'm not, and again, I won't, I'm not trying to hate on Classic WoW, okay? I'm, I'm right. glad they're doing it. It's cool, right? People right. could be like, ah, but how much work is it, Rob? It's a lot of fucking work. Like, it's, it's just it's a lot of work, man. Like, some well, when I was younger, I used to always think, like, how much work is it to do these things? But it, it's a ton of work and a ton of time for these guys to put this out, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is it one of those things where uh, it is going to be people that work on the actual WoW expansions for, like, modern WoW go back and do it? Because, like, there's always... Those people are like, why don't they release this faster? And it's like, well, the art team's doing that, idiot. And like, you know. Sure, I mean? sure. But at the same time, here, here's the other th question I have: is when in Classic WoW is it being released? Um, and is it going to be pure Classic WoW? Because, spoiler alert: there are parts of Classic WoW that suck balls. There are a lot of specs in Classic WoW that are useless. They're pointless. Like mm -hmm. you're going to go play as a Ret Paladin in Classic WoW. There's no point to that. Also questionable, what about old exploits? I'll give you one. Shh, All right. don't tell the Blizzard developers. <laughs> All right. Look, I knew a way in Classic WoW to AFK level. What? It's a secret. I'll even take you there. You want to go right. to the place where you can AFK level? Because here's right. the thing. That's my question. Is, is this going to be like they load up an old build, just throw it on a server and go? Um, well, I think they said they were going to take a lot of community feedback about it and what people wanted. But see, that's the problem, is the community says things like they want classic WoW, but all that really means is, I want WoW the way I remember it. And 
the, for so many people, that's different things. Because, for example, Classic WoW, like, the way it launched is way different than the way it ended. You know, Cla Classic WoW, in a lot of ways, kind of felt like almost um, an expansion in itself. Because mm. you had the way the game released, and then you had the way the game ended up by the time it got to Burning Crusade. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't I don't really know what what that's going to end up like. That's as. what I was kind of thinking, is like, what they're going to do because I mean there is the when it first launched and they didn't even have like weather in the game or like just random ass dungeons and stuff well there's other things um like there's also like the I'm I it's hard for me because I played in the beta too and I get mm. like the beta confused with classic wow because it all kind of felt like the same time period so I can't mm. really remember every small little thing and how it worked I'm trying to avoid these mobs we yeah. need to head to the boats Oh, okay. We were heading Ratchet to Stranglethorn books? Vale. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys the secret AFK spot. Worked all, right. all the way till about Burning Crusade. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't everybody keep this on the down low. All right, all right. We can all benefit from cheating today. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably lose your World of Warcraft in time Blizzard account for this exploit, but all the rap will show it to you. There's uh, you the loot bug as well, where you loot and get stuck looting. Oh my god! Like there's, there's, there's just and the quality of life stuff. Like we're not gonna have looking for raid. We're not gonna have looking for group. And some of you will be like, point is people don't some like that. people will say that's a good part of the point. But I mean, I remember the days. Oh no! I remember the <laughs> days of standing in town for an hour trying to get a group. And the other problem is some classes really struggle to get groups. Like some classes, there's like you don't bring them, ever. Yeah, <laughs> it is very true. You know, like, like for example, you want to play as a fire mage? Well, you don't get to do molten core. You're gonna have to respec, and even then, you're gonna have to get kind of carried by the rogues. I just. What do like, people argue like today? Like, well, that's just like an arcade mage. It's useless. <laughs> like, well, well, dude, in classic PvP, classic PvP is a nightmare. You you want to talk about imbalance? If somebody's got um, uh, uh, thunder fury. You're you're dead zo, man. Like, a warrior or a rogue with Thunder Fury and a pocket healer? They just beat entire battlegrounds. I just... What, what about leveling? Like, there's <laughs> points in classic WoW where there's no quests. And so what you do is you see this boar, you right. kill him. It's like that, um, um live to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, that's not a, that South wasn't South. a joke in classic WoW, man. That's classic. true, I did, uh, I remember hitting, like, level 57 and I ran out of quests. And then um, I just had to grind a lot of mobs. Which is the way to the boats? Oh, do the we have to boats. go to Northern Barrens? To get to the oh, we do. Okay, yeah. I, go, I took us a detour. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, you're right. I think here's like a lot of people didn't play Classic WoW either. A lot of people started in Burning Crusade. A lot of people started like kind of later on, and they want to go back and see what it was like. Mm -hmm. And I can understand that as well. Uh, I really think Blizzard is doing this knowing it's a bad idea, too. I, I want to put... And I, I'm not trying to hate on this too much. If you're excited yeah. for this, keep your excitement. Be excited. But here's another big problem. How many servers do you open up? Because mm -hmm. when this comes out, it's going to be a fad. Everyone is going to want to try it. But mm -hmm. two months after this, a large portion of those people will not want to play this anymore. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have like a massive exodus and you're going to have to do more. Now, maybe that doesn't matter the way WoW is these days. Yeah. You know, maybe we're just all one on secretly on one big server kind of fused together. Mm -hmm. So That's I don't true. know. It's, it's definitely going to be a project for them, but I guess I they know what they're getting into now. I do like the idea that if we were going to do a roleplay guild, we we kind of save it for classic, even though you know the new expansion's coming out. Because mm -hmm. of the whole idea, people can't really gank us because we could just you know, sure there could be someone that's oh there's like a guy and he's like 46 and most of our guilds only 20. Mm -hmm. But I mean that's way different than oh god there's one dude and he's 100 in level 20. Yeah. And just use a consecration, we all just instantly died. It's a mm -hmm. little different, you know. Yeah. Well. I made a thing about why I was excited about Classic WoW. A lot of it is just nostalgia. Like, I want to go back and actually right. experience 
leveling again. It's not even whether or not I enjoy it. I want to actually go through it to be like, because through the years, everyone's like, well, in Classic Wilds. And I was like, I played it, but I was like 14. So it's like, oh, I'm playing WoW. So I want to actually go back and like really see, like, was it that hard? Was it grindy? Am I going to get bored? Like, I just there are some people out. who will love it. Like, there are some people who are going to go back and they're going to get the classic experience. And in a lot of ways, it was a very traditional hardcore MMORPG. Mm -hmm. These days, MMORPGs hold your hand. Yeah. Like, you know, like in classic WoW, um, if you decided to play, for example, a healing class, you can't level up. God, mm. leveling as a paladin is just a nightmare in Classic WoW. Yeah. Like actually trying to level, there's like it's you right click a mob and then you go go AFK because your <laughs> seals kind of automatically attract damage. That mm. was the meme back then. Yo, P, why do you play paladin? Oh, it's great. I just right click a mob, tab out for two minutes, then come back and the mob is dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's how that that's not a joke. People leveled like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, just, just, and if you want to play that experience right now, go play a paladin, put no abilities on your bar, right click mobs, and then <laughs> make sure you're always fighting mobs that won't kill you. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, this. we leveled up. Um, like I leveled, uh, I leveled a hunter first, and then I leveled a priest. Leveling a priest was interesting, because I remember you had to wand shit to death. Oh, yeah. Well, you run out of mana in Classic WoW. Like, you yeah, go and you play a maid. Mana. You want to play a mage, you're going to do a raid boss? All right, you can spend two minutes nuking, and then the rest of it, you auto-wand. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, are we going to go back to classic Molten Core, where you can log out our raids, and then log back in, and you're out of combat and resurrect? Probably not. Like that's There's so many questions I have for mm -hmm. what version of World of Warcraft they will eventually go back to, and what yeah. things they will decide to keep. Because if they decide to do any changes, that's developer resource time. You're no longer loading up an old version of the game. You're now having to, you know, um, tweak it. How is it going to work with Battle.net? Battle.net's completely different. So they're going to have to do some modifications. Yeah. Is it going to just not be connected to Battle.net? I guess that's a solution. They could just give us completely different accounts, but that would just be so convoluted and messy. Yeah. And not, it's got to be connected to Battle.net. So that means it has to be connected to all these accounts, which is going to require developers to go back, make these custom servers. Are we going to have classic talents again? You know? You got to have classic uh, talents. But again, there are just talents that are bad. There are well, just, just classic talent class. trees. I, that's, that's what I mean. It's so, it's interesting to me. You know, it's because to me, all I see is the nightmarish problems. And I remember that old BlizzCon quote. Oh, God, am I going to make it? <laughs> I, remember, I remember that old BlizzCon quote where, like, you guys don't know what you want. You guys do you remember <laughs> yeah. that one? It was like a meme. No! Uh, yeah, Resurre it Resurrect me. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's perform the ritual. It didn't work. Oh god, where am I gonna end up? Oh, do you want to die with me, and we'll be ghosts right. from now on? Yeah, I'll just go die. Um, um, this is just, I just have a lot of questions because yeah. there's there because the thing is, as 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 I had many great experiences in Classic WoW and the Burning Crusade, those are the two expansions I played the most. You yeah. know, and then I played a lot in Wrath, and I played a lot in Kata, and then ever since then I've just casually played it. I come mm -hmm. in, I level up, I do some, you know, maybe raids with old friends or looking for raids or group stuff, and it's, it's great, it's fun. Like, WoW mm -hmm. is the kind of thing that I enjoy coming back to and playing for three months, then I kind of just fade out. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're ghosts. Now, now, now the true test begins. Alright, so we gotta go back to where we were. Wait, where are you? Oh, there you go. I'm right in front of you. We gotta, um, head, we gotta head to the boats. What are you saying the about the meme? About the meme? <laughs> you don't know what you want. Um, I, I have a one-track mine. I've completely forgot my train of thought. <laughs> the, uh, the guy who's like, you don't know what you want on the blizzard. Oh, panel. right, the guy that you don't know what you want. Yeah. I don't think he's too far off. And I'm not, and I'm not trying to like insult anyone with this. I don't actually know what I usually want. What I know is what I don't want, right? Mm -hmm. Like whenever Pete Blizzard announces stuff for any of their games, if they announce something I want, usually I didn't even really know I wanted it. It's just like, oh, that sounds cool and neat. Like for example, I didn't really know I wanted Overwatch. I mm -hmm. didn't really know. 
I didn't know I wanted Blizzard <laughs> to make like a TF2 style game at all. Yeah. And when I saw their trailer and it had like the dumb Pixar kids coming out, I was just like, are you kidding me, Blizzard? You're making Pixar movies? Is this what you're announcing? I saw Tracer <laughs> come out. I was just like, Tracer, she looks so lame. I saw Reaper come out. And I'm like, really? Spooky Ghost Man? This is what we're getting? <laughs> you see Sexy Booty Assassin? Really? We're going to get super cool Gun Girl, Reaper, and Booty Assassin? This is what you're making, Blizzard? I wasn't impressed. I wasn't excited. Man, was I wrong. I love the crap out of Overwatch. It's so much fun. I love all the characters now. I love Creepy Ghost Man. So I love <laughs> Pupit Doom Tracer. I what, love Booty Assassin. What you're saying is... You might be wrong, and you might love classic WoW servers again. I could be. I, well, <laughs> the thing is, I have no idea what classic WoW is going to be. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, I'm not even trying to say I, 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 I don't think I would like it. I could totally like it. Mm -hmm. um, but, but if I liked it, it would be purely for nostalgia. Mm -hmm. purely, or of the fact that I am a masochist, and I actually enjoy grinding boars for hours and hours. <laughs> yeah. Don't believe me? Well, you should see my Diablo 3 stats. <laughs> I have spent a long time whirlwinding Barb when there is no reason to continue whirlwinding Barb. <laughs> Just, why are you doing it, Rob? I don't know. Killing monsters for monsters' sake. Well, the main reason I'm looking forward to it is kind of that. Like, I don't want to raid. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not interested oh, in raiding God, at all. Because no. no. I've already I, done I, all the raiding. But I think I can understand somebody who's never done 40-man raiding wanting to mm -hmm. experience that. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that a lot. I can totally understand that. But, I, but I'll tell you what it was like. You know, and I'm, lots, of, lots of people will be able to vouch for this. 20-man raiding is like 25-man raiding, but 15 people are stupid. <laughs> um, because you don't actually, in, in most of the raiding counters in original WoW, you don't actually need 40 people. Mm -hmm. um, you need 25 people, and then 15 people just die in the first five minutes anyway. <laughs> Like, that's how bosses were. Like, they would come out and you win if people don't die. That was it. Mm -hmm. so people don't die. Ah, oh, shit, six people died in the first minute. Wipe it out, boys. Don't, like, oh, my God. Like, um, what was his name in, in Naxxramas? Loth, uh, Lotheb. Yeah, Lotheb. Oh, my God. We used to have to craft, like, 120 shadow pots. I remember <laughs> going to Scarlet Monastery because Scarlet Monastery spawns, like, the, the specific herb, fade leaf. It was just you'd go in you'd on a rogue, you pick some fade leaf, you leave. That was all <laughs> yeah. you would do. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like in some ways, I can see the nostalgia for that, but in a lot of ways, I can just see people playing and being like, "Did you Blizzard? You really expect us to do this? Nah, nerf the fun." That's the other thing too. Is there gonna be people who don't find it fun and they're gonna want Blizzard to change Classic WoW, or worse, what if they want updates? What if it's like new RuneScape and people now want them to go and like update <laughs> yeah. it and just continue 40 man raids? Yeah, or they want them to be like, uh, hey, what if we just, you know, add in some achievements? What if it's yeah. like, you can't just do that and then you, because once you start down that slope, it's just, you're all downhill. Like, well, why don't we add in uh, this thing and this thing from Modern WoW? Or like, why don't we add in looting? Like, where you can yeah. loot all the mobs around you and it's like, well, you're changing it. At that, but I guess that's what they're yeah. kind of taking into consideration. And like, do we use do we use the old models too? Do we use the old you gotta use models the old and models. stuff? Do we use? Yeah. I couldn't imagine playing a vanilla WoW with the new models. It would just feel weird. So, so that means though, like that, I would have to believe that this has to be like a completely different install, right? Yeah. It can't just be a server anymore. They mm. probably have to like have a completely different install for it. Oh yeah. They, you know? they have to. Uh, honestly, that's that's why I think it's great that Blizzard's doing it. Because it sounds so hard. And now you might say, oh, but they can just do it like the classic server. And I and I get that. But a lot of the classic classic servers still have minor little changes in them anyway. They're not true classic. They have... A lot of them have, like, donation perk stuff, too. Mm -hmm. You know? So... And you can be like, ah, but why is it so easy for, for this, for them to do it and not Blizzard? Well, honestly, because quality control. You know, yeah. Blizzard has polish, and Blizzard wants to release things at a at a certain consistency and stuff, right? Well, like if they're going to do a classic WoW, they want to ensure that everyone's able to play. Mm -hmm. Going back to the server issue, so yeah. But it's... I think it would be fun to play, and I think it would be really fun to do like a guild, especially theme yeah. guilds. Like if you're just a bunch of orcs and trolls and uh, and Torin, we're a bunch of uh, humans and dwarves and night elves and. Every, we give everybody specific classes and things. Maybe we get uniforms and stuff when we go <laughs> yeah. and have fun videos and smash ourselves at each other and just world PvP. Because that's the thing. 
if you're going to do classic WoW and you really want to enjoy it, I would join a really big role play guild mm -hmm. because there, cause like if you're gonna if you're gonna go back and you're gonna go play classic WoW, then what you're really doing is role playing in a way because you're being like, I want to re-experience what WoW used to be. So you might as well go all in on that and be a zug zug. I'm an mm -hmm. orc. Oh, <laughs> zug zug. <laughs> you might as well go all in on this. It's like this is the time to put on your wizard hat and cape, sit at your computer and do it because you're just the one chance too. Because once they do classic WoW once. Um, we're not gonna get this to where where's where is the boats? Did we miss the turn? I think we missed the turn. Ah crap. Yeah, it's down gotta... this way though. Hold on, yeah. let me map. Oh god, yeah, we, we gotta go this way. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh yeah, that's the thing is like even with Classic Wild, it was more of an old school RPG, like you were saying, and so that's why a lot of the things were the way they were. It was more even though it was an MMO, it was more single player based. Didn't you have to, wasn't there something about leveling to five? Or wasn't like the first few levels like really hard in WoW 2? It took a few remember. hours to get to like level six or like an hour and a half. Yeah. I there's, remember. There's, there's so many things that have just been sped up over time that we take for granted that going mm. back just, it's gonna be. Also, what about, here, okay, here's, here's, I got another pro, here, I got another question for you guys. All right. And this is another thing that people who didn't really play a lot of classic WoW aren't going to really kind of understand right away or thought of. What about modifications? Because in Classic WoW, um, you could actually set up automatic healing. So you push one button, and it heals the person in the raid at the yes. lowest health. And what we would do in our guilds is you generally have two or three healers that heal the person in most danger, and then mm. two or three healers that heal the second in danger, then two or three healers that heal the third in danger, and then you have your tank healers, and then your spot healers, and then your healers who are not healing and waiting till the first batch of healers runs out of mana, gets out of combat, sits and drinks water, and then you fill in. Like there was that not in, not you didn't do that in the entirety of WoW. It's most some of that I described was just multi core strategies. Yeah, but. What about decursing? In in Molten Core, what would happen is everybody gets cursed. If you've played the anniversary event, you may have remembered that. But if you wanted to decurse back then, you would just spam the button that randomly <laughs> yeah. curses people. <laughs> like it was just one button, and you would click it until everyone in the raid was no longer decursed. It was just automatic easy mode. I remember that because I was a priest, I was a now, holy priest, and so yeah. that's what I, I would either heal with that add-on mod thing. Or you like get assigned an off tank like this guy's tanking this thing you heal them like for Lucifron and shit, and then I remember Blackwing Lair because I remember we did Chromagus and that was just decurse fest, like all decursing. It's like all right, you're decursing. It's like okay, man. Well, you know my first uh, orc character was a mage, and do you know what his username is? And I still have it. I've been thinking of what? deleting it now. This is actually embarrassing now that I remember this. This was back in Classic WoW. First time I ever made a Horde character. It was, it was a new server that came out, and anytime new servers came out, it got so exciting because you'd see what type of usernames you could yeah. get. Everybody's getting the first username, and I got a username, and I was like so excited. And now I just realized it. Like, oh man, if Roman's listening, he's just gonna be laughing at me. He already knows what I said. I had the username for my orc mage. His name was Bill Cosby. <laughs> Dude, <geez. laughs> now that I think about it, it's not a good username to have for my orc mage. <laughs> no. no, no, I'm gonna not. have to delete that guy. I never leveled them up past 60. It's just well, I remember, I remember new servers forever. would come out, and it was like a fresh start almost. Like, yes, yeah. now I can be the best on the server. You can be the like best that. on that server. Yeah. yeah. And it, it would always die off. They'd like, get to level 15 and be like, all right, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah, that, that's... And then here's... This is why I... And be like, this is crazy that Blizzard's doing it. Because I just have all of these questions that I can't really see easy solutions i can see right. solutions but i can't see like easy obvious solutions and there's just tons of questions because mm -hmm. for example if you're going to change this stuff with mods to not allow decursing and stuff like that well then you have to like what make like a build of classic wow that changes the rules around mods and classic wow well now it's not classic wow it's classic wow with some changes and mm -hmm. maybe that's okay but I feel like, as you were saying, as you start changing anything with it, it's slowly no... And that's that's a big problem. Because if the community says, this doesn't feel like Classic WoW, then they're not going to be happy with it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they just won't care. They'll just be like, 
Well, there's always going to be people that care. <laughs> just because there's always going to be people that care. But maybe like the majority just don't care because yeah. they've never played Classic WoW, so just a different experience is a different experience. Yeah. And then, then that's confusing, okay? Mm. Because then you got Classic WoW and you got New Classic WoW. <laughs> so people yeah. are going to be talking about how they liked WoW when they were in cla Classic WoW, and they were saying, what do you mean, Classic WoW or New Classic WoW? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, like, well, you use your mods, but back in my day, we weren't able to do this thing. Like, good on Blizzard for listening to the community on something they want, but I still go back to that quote of that guy saying, you don't know what you want, because I don't know if we really, really want this. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know if we really, really, maybe we really did, maybe we're all going to like it, or maybe it's just going to be a really tiny sub subset of group of people, like, well, you know, a small 10,000 people that play this. And then I have to ask you the question, guys, is it worth taking all of that developer time for such this small thing? Like, you know? It's... Well, my thing is, I think a lot of people do know what they want, but a lot of people want different things. Yes. Yeah. And so somebody's like, well, I, yeah, of course I want old school vanilla WoW with like all the bugs and all the shit. And then somebody else would be like, well, I don't mind if they fix these things. Then it's just, you get so many differing opinions. And so it's just like, who are you going to listen to? Are you going to listen to the majority? But the majority might just be like, but the majority doesn't really, yeah, the majority doesn't really know what it wants. It's saying it wants something, but it's just using the label of this thing. But everybody's talking about something different. It's like if you said, I like fruit. And so, like, everybody's just like, oh, yeah, I love fruit. <laughs> fruit is the fucking best. And then Blizzard shows up with a plate of apples and pineapples, and people are just like, the fuck are the oranges? <laughs> what the f No tangerines? You don't even have a banana! Not even one banana! Nope. <laughs> it's true. It's, uh... I, don't, I don't want people to think like this is a bad thing. Because yeah. I think it's a good thing because if there's somebody that's up to the challenge, it's a blizzard. And maybe yeah. they will deliver a classic experience that the major majority just is like, you know what? This is a great. This is great that they did this. This well, just is so nostalgic and awesome. It up. That it's great. Well, it's good to bring it up too, because you can you can be very much like jumping on the hype train, like this is gonna be perfect. and get yourself this disappointed. Is... Yeah, yeah. And get yourself and it's better paid. to bring up these things and then have yeah. Blizzard actually go over them and discuss the like all this stuff on the forums yeah. and things instead of just being like, yeah, we'll just wing it. In in because there's there's and you gotta remember there are people who played Classic WoW differently. In the in um the what was the first expansion the Burning Crusade mm. there was a lot of guilds because Blizzard introduced a thing called a uh, uh, level cap and you could disable your level so there was a lot of guilds in the Burning Crusade that they were classic guilds so they would go do the old forty man raids because in Burning Crusade you could still do all the old forty man raids with forty man raids so there's people in the Burning Crusade who had a classic experience but with all the facets of what was changed and updated in the Burning Crusade. Uh, yeah. So different talents, different abilities. So hey, now I can play Classic, but I can actually play it as kind of a good Rep Paladin, kind of a good Shadow Priest, kind of a useful Shaman. Well, even then, You're, like, y you couldn't make Shaman on Alliance. Make Shaman Paladin Alliance. Horde. And that was like the end of Vanilla WoW, so that wasn't even a Burning Crusade thing. That happened before Burning Crusade. All right, we are here. We're here. We are here. I will right. explain the exploit. Don't everyone keep it a secret from me. <laughs> All right. No, never let them know All that right. when I was All a right. young boy, I cheated at the World of Warcrafts. <laughs> this just reminds me, like, when uh, people go under Orgrimmar and shit. Okay. So I want to, like, have people in Vanilla out pay me gold, and I'll be like, let so, me teach you how to wall walk, children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we going to get wall blocking back the way it was? Because in Classic WoW, you could walk up literally any mountain if you tried yeah. enough. And you would just kind of, like, be like, doot, doot, and, like, inch across the, the mountain. If side. I don't get that experience, it ain't my Classic WoW. Yeah. If I, if I can't blink past portals as a mage <laughs> and get to the secret underground world of dead mines, then it's not... Really old iron classic forge. wild exactly okay so there is a mob here and he's like a named mob and i believe mm -hmm. he spawns either a totem or something and if you go on your normal server maybe this mob is still around i don't know they've redone all these zones um he might still be a named mob i don't know if he still does his ability but he's like a ghoul okay mm -hmm. now the ghoul who is around this area here the ghoul spawns a totem that spawns skeletons and the skeletons are worth and i shit you not like 10 experience Okay. Oh, whoa. Now, the skeletons can swim in the water, 
but the ghoul cannot. So the ghoul will walk to the water and he'll stay in combat because what he does is he summons a totem and then the skeleton walks over here into the water and punches your ret paladin. You'll need a high level ret paladin to AFK level. Mm -hmm. And the paladin will get hit, the, uh, get hit three or four times, the 10 experience ghoul will die and then maybe some more skeletons will spawn and so you just stand here so you'd have just a rep paladin with the retribution aura just standing there mobs would come in they would die on the rep paladin the guy would spawn them infinitely you'd invite a group and you'd put people in and they would just go endlessly they just that's how you would level huh well how do you how do you stop from getting like auto logged out oh come on if you're gonna cheat in video games i'm pretty sure you can figure out a way to <laughs> <laughs> to, to stay in game. There's, there's got to be something you can do yeah, to I guess, stay in World of Warcraft. I guess we'll never know. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, interesting. Huh. Well, that's, and that's my classic WoW experience. Am I going to be allowed to, to cheat and hopefully not get caught Blizzard? Because it's fair game. That exploit was there when it was there, so you gotta have CS's watching for me. Cause I'ma try and do it again. I'm it's like, <laughs> it's, like, mind you, this is the only reason why we did this is cause it was classic WoW, and you had to grind boars for five hours. So, <laughs> yeah. if you have to grind boars for five hours to get one level, sure, why not AFK <laughs> when you go to sleep, you automatically get some ghoul XP, and come back with two levels. Damn, <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the fruit analogy. You're just like, oh yeah, they better have my, like, some weird ass fruit, like my cherimoya fruit <laughs> in, the, in the vanilla wow. Where should we go next? Should we head north? Yeah, let's go to like. Should we well, visit I was, the last uh, sword? I always have these weird nostalgic memories of things I know I wouldn't even enjoy. Like, <laughs> yeah, for example, yeah. where we are now, like the the aged gorilla Sanu quest. Because I remember that quest would take me like three hours. To just get that aged gorilla sinew, but I'm always like, man, that was just a crazy time. But I know if I had to do it again, I'd be like, this is the dumbest shit. Also, I don't know if people remember that. Like, there's gonna be so many people that kind of remember, so many people that don't mm. remember. But like in Classic WoW, there was like a lot of mobs that you really couldn't kill by yourself. Oh yeah, Even like you just you couldn't, really, yeah. You couldn't do and it. at all levels, there was some mm. quests you'd get. You can't do these quests by yourself. Like, unless you're, like, a very specific class and build, and then you're maybe two or three levels above it, you're not really... And then you're just, like, suicide killing the boss or something. Mm -hmm. You can't do some of these quests. Like, you're a priest, you want to get benediction for a raid, you actually need to convince people to go to Winter Grasp and farm <laughs> whatever the crappy mob is until your drop drops. Yeah. Oh, my God, farming for world drops? Like, you're gonna, <laughs> all your gear is going to be blue, and you might be like, I like that, Rob, I want to earn my epics. Yeah, but you won't earn epics. That's what you need to understand, is you won't earn epics. The people who play all the time, they will get epics. And then if you go and you PvP with the people who play all the time, you will get stomped. You will get eviscerated. It will not be fair. It will not be fun. The reason why we played it, because there just wasn't really that many games to play. Well, like it's, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of video games to play when games like this came out, man. <laughs> people there are people that actually do want that i know but and and i mean like that like and the thing is when back in the day i was one of those people i loved that game you know why because i love stomping the crap out of people unfairly <laughs> you know i want to i want to go buy battlefront 2 slap 200 dollars get myself a amazing a-wing and just three shot everybody <laughs> as they're flying around in their default vehicles and laugh that would be a fun experience for me I could go and do that, but I think we would all admit that that's a shitty experience for everybody else. <laughs> How do we cross this? Oh, we go over here, the mountainside. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm my main reason of wanting to play it is just leveling, to be honest, and then maybe doing old Ultra Egg Valleys to be like, oh yeah, it does last ten hours, and then, I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't have. Like, some people are like, Old Ultra Egg Valley, probably the greatest experience of my life. I remember Old Ultra Egg Valley, and I enjoyed it, but, like, I wasn't like, oh, man, I just can't wait to play Ultra Egg. It was more like, oh, I'm going to go do Ultra Egg Valley, and then I get the blood, and you kind of have fun for a bit, and you're like, all right, and then you just go do something else as it keeps going. Um, I, I like, so, so one of the things, I think other MMO players, people who played other MMOs before World of Warcraft, 
can attest to this, but we always like to say in the early days of World of Warcraft that you always remember your first MMO. Because whatever your first MMORPG is, you really have a massive sense of mm-hmm. nostalgia. I, the first game I ever played that was like a big uh, online MMORPG, um, and I played it for hours and hours and hours, was a game called Dark Age of Camelot. And mm-hmm. when that game came out, I must have been like 12, 13, and it was like nothing I'd ever seen. Yeah. It's like the it's like an RPG, but you play it online. It's like impossible to level. There's classes in there that can't level by themselves. It was so hard. Even getting to five was hard. Was, and when I say hard, I mean just the game was grueling. Like mm-hmm. it was not that it was actually difficult. It's just that the time it takes to do anything is immense. And World of Warcraft was like that in a lot of ways. Like the time it takes from getting one to sixty is like fifteen to twenty real life days play time. Like, do your slash played. You know, go check to see how long your characters are. I'm sure they're very, very, very long, but if you've had a character and maybe you just made it in Legion, you might not even have 20 days played time. Or you, maybe you have around that time as your total time. Mm-hmm. Right? But imagine if that's you going from 1 to 60. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I don't it's, know. Uh, I mean, I don't really mind, because, like, I'm going to stream it. So... It's, it's yeah, yeah. Well, that's like, why I think it would be fun to do with a role play guild. Because if you yeah. if you went if you went into this and you did it with a role play guild, it basically gets rid of anything you've heard me complaining about droning on about with this game. Yeah. Because the thing is, and this is everything everybody knows about World of Warcraft who's been in guilds. This game is fun when you have people to play it with. Because yeah. it doesn't matter what you do. Because anything is fun with people. Mm-hmm. And, and in games like this that let you role play and do goofy things, it's fun to be like, hey, what are you guys doing in STV? Ah, uh, we're fighting some horde over a uh, goat. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, there's a goat that spawns and James needs it for a quest, so we've just been trying to kill horde so James can get the goat. All right, well, uh, we're going to come over and help you. And then <laughs> yeah. suddenly like, horde come and suddenly you're just fighting horde endlessly for three hours. Well, that's the thing. A lot of it was... There was no was... reward. You just did it. Yeah, I like think that's that's probably one of the big things about it is you kind of made your own fun more so back then, which is essentially why Crossroads PvP was even a thing. Like, nobody was like, all right, here's your thing where you go to Crossroads and get a reward. It was just like, hey, people are here, we'll fight. Yeah. And that's what made and, Crossroads and you know PvP. Why you don't see that as much because there's just stuff to do now. Yeah. There's stuff for people that just play the game and have fun. Literally back then, the reason why you did it, well, one, you're playing 15 bucks a month. Um, so you're, this is like the game, you're yeah. one of the only games you're playing, you're logging on to hang out with friends, you're just doing stuff because there's, you know, nothing to do. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and it was, uh, well, and then the games evolved because of psychologists and marketers and all those people being yeah. like, now if we give them achievements, <laughs> they'll keep coming back <laughs> and shit like that. Where it's true, but at the same time it kind of, uh, what's a good word, kind of, not even dehumanizes because it's not a human, but it makes it more. There's less like life to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I think it. The sad truth is, no matter how well they do this classic experience, I think mm-hmm. if you played a lot of classic WoW and this entire time you're just fucking done with this video because you hate me ragging on it, <laughs> you're, you're 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 you may end up being. Uh, I want you to like just like take that back and just be like, don't get too excited. Just. If it's amazing, great. Fall in love with it. Get get pumped. It'd be great. But don't go in there thinking it's going to be the greatest thing in the world because I I I have so many questions for Blizzard. I won't get my hopes up. And, and even if I get my hopes up, I'm going to go in there thinking, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a bunch of, you know, gnomes. Get, tell my fans, let's make gnomes. And let's <laughs> just go level up and just see what it's like. Because I, I think these type of games, these old grindy MMOs, I don't think they can exist anymore. You know, I don't think they, I, I think we're just past them. Because a lot of the reason why I played a lot of the games for the hours I played it, I didn't have anything else to do. Well, you can kind of say the same thing about platformers. Internet. Like, platformers had a revival as of late because so many people have been Maybe, wanting. yeah. Maybe. It's kind of like it's been gone for so long, a lot of people do want that back. Like, I've enjoyed the, the platformer revival. But it's because everybody's been like, yeah, people don't want the collect-a-thons anymore. They don't want this. And then they've just not done it for so long. It's like, I kind of do want that now. Even if it's yeah. only for, like, a year or two. But, but, I mean, like, even if you look at something like, I love the new Super Mario game. 
Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's easily probably my most favorite Mario game. Oh, you like how I say Mario? People who think <laughs> fuck, yeah. Mar- Mario. Um, Mario. Mario. But anyway, Mary here. Uh, Mario. <laughs> he. Um, I love this new game, but it is a game that really plays with my nostalgia. Like they're just like they're just like every now and then they're like, they're like hey, 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 remember this round? Oh yeah, you can have this again. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to spoil things for people who are still playing Mario, but have you played it through it yet? Uh, I've like started playing. I'm like an hour right. in. When you beat the game, you unlock a special world, and when you get to that special world, it's it's just a world that's just like dopamine for your brain. You're just like, <laughs> hey, remember this? Remember this? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You like that, don't you? <laughs> I was just like, Nintendo, you're evil. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know, yeah, that's right, though. I guess you're right. You, we could see games come back that are, uh, you know, just these yeah. just hard grinding. Maybe people will like them. I would love if there's a resurgent in those games. I miss them. Yeah. yeah. it's. Uh, I think that's the thing. Is I think we get burned out with it, and then it's gone for so long, it's like... Well, I mean, I still enjoyed it. Like, you'd still want to play it every so often, but there's none out right now. And then someone comes along and like, I'll do it. And you're like, oh, okay. But we we got here not because Blizzard made games that um, they wanted to make necessarily. That's a, that's a big part of it. But we but they, they've always been really good at listening to the players. And now, yeah. if you're a hardcore raider, you can say, that's full of shit, Rob. Well, they didn't really listen to us hardcore raiders because we were 1% of the community. They seem to always listen to the lowest common denominator in their games and always make content mostly for them. And it's and it's really cool that they keep making these big epic raids that very few people experience, but they've also gone and made all of this effort to make it so more and more people can experience that content because mm-hmm. they want in order for them to justify it, they need to, right? Yeah. They can't just make these raids and then nobody plays them. It's just not worth their time. That's not how they can make more money, you know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, they're a company that has to make money. <laughs> Especially with Activision being like, money boy. <laughs> like, cracks the Money whip. boy. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, yeah, I remember the first thing I played before WoW was MU Online. And Ooh. that was very, it was essentially just online Korean Diablo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of like go grind these weird ass like ghoul mobs and bull centaur ghosts and you're like what shit's going on but you're like I'm 13 and I've never played this before this is crazy I get gear and I get talent points and shit did you ever play fantasy star online that was like this it was like it came first came out on like the dreamcast I think and it was kind of like an MMO but there was basically four levels but the levels could drop loot so you would just do the same four <laughs> levels forever I, I mean, there's <laughs> difficulty sliders, I guess, but that was all the game was. Yeah. I never played that. I played more RTS games before that. Like, I played Empire Earth and Age of Empires and all those games, and then I got into RPGs. Yeah. But I never really even played single-player RPGs. I just get bored. You know, I get sleepy, man. I get mm-hmm. really sleepy playing single-player RPGs. If, unless I'm let's playing it, because then I have talk, and then I'm yeah. wide awake. <laughs> well, like, if I play some like single player RPG, I, I, I think it's just I get just bored. It just... Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like some people, I think are able to really get into the story and like you know, that. I'm just really bad at doing that. I'm just like, all right, the thing, whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's just not for me. In order, in order for you to ever enjoy something that says, like, it, in order for you to enjoy a role playing game to its fullest, you actually have to role play. Like, hey, mm-hmm. if you want to have a personal fun WoW experience right now, okay, is all is all you have to do, go go make a World of Warcraft character, okay, mm-hmm. and then instead of playing the character as you would normally play it, as a, whatever you consider, as a guy, I'm really good at this game, don't play it like that, okay, mm-hmm. play it as if you were let's playing it, so you're performing for an audience, okay, yeah. And you're a character in the show. So if you're making an orc, ask yourself some questions. Be like, is my orc smart? Does what my orc do? And then read every quest. And when you read every quest, try to make like little voices in your mind. Maybe even read it out loud. Maybe go all out. Because if you do that, you will kind of like put yourself into the story. And if you hmm. put yourself into the story, you will care about it more. You'll be yeah. like, oh, yeah, I am Orc Town USA. And I must slay these four chickens for Ranch Cow Zone. <laughs> And then go and do dumb thing. Go play on a role play server, and then go and like after you do a quest, go sit down and talk to someone in the inn and be like, "I have just completed a mission for Lord Kalthas, and I have brought back the Orb of Destruction. What say you to that, Elf?" 
Um, <laughs> you will have immense amount of fun. You can be like, ah, I don't like doing that role play thing, but you you'll like it. Why not? It's like ma it's like doing make believe when you were a kid. You know when you run around play cops and robbers. Same <laughs> yeah. thing. Only now you're doing it as an adult. It's I do it every now and then. I'll play through these games and I do it for practice for my work because I do a lot of role play stuff and I like to mm -hmm. do voices and read characters and stories and stuff. But it's it's so much fun to like throw yourself into these games mm -hmm. if you can. Yeah, it's I agree with that. I mean, and it's kind of like what you enjoy is like when I play with my three friends are like little group like two of them are really into just we got to beat the game we got to do this like it's all mm -hmm. about progress and being the game and then me and my other friend are always like it doesn't even matter what game we're playing we're just like our we're pirates over here <laughs> it's like doing dumb shit like we don't care because it could be any game and we're just having fun like with working with what we got we don't really care about yeah. progress or winning that much when i was younger it was all about progress for me like it, it's it was it's in some in some ways when i still approach new games it always is i'm just mm -hmm. like progress 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 but every now and then like a game like wow especially classic wow man if they had a, if they have a role play server for it that will be the server i go on mm -hmm. and it'll be all about that because the experiences you can get for role play, the experiences you can get with talking to other human beings are better than the challenges Blizzard can give you with NPC content. You're never gonna fight a mob that's super challenging. Mm -hmm. You know, you're never gonna fight a boss that is really gonna be like, ah, we did it. Like if you ever watched an anime or a TV show and you see the characters like jumping over wolves and stuff and being like, ha, nice try, bear man. You're no match for me. You have to realize that you could play the game just like that. And you might say, but I would feel ridiculous playing like that. But why? You, I don't, why? It would be really fun. It would be really silly. It would be really goofy. You'd probably yeah. love it. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Like you could... You, it's essentially it's making your own fun again or you could be See, like this, that's go, what we should do you go that's fight we, this tree if you wanted to that's what you, we should do Krendor. we should halt uh, tree you stand okay. in my way so here, here's what we should do okay we should right. uh, we should because the classic wow it's not coming out soon right it's, it's not like coming a year out. and a half or two yeah years. It's, it's way and mm. I don't really want to do a guild for the new wow expansion because you know I'd like to start everybody yeah. at one and stuff so it sounds makes sense to do a classic but mm. we could do like a little series or maybe we could pitch the idea people like it but we mm. do like two characters of some of those new races do some two hordes but like full-on role play like we don't we don't care about our level we don't care about anything we're just two adventurers scouring the world because you know what the other thing coming in the new expansion is you can do any zone at any level oh, like yeah, it's, that's it's like right. the new legion thing so mm. we could make like two pure role play characters and then just play as the stories you know yeah That'd actually be really fun. I would do that. And what did this tree do to you? The what? Well, you said fuck this tree, and you've just been staring at it, so, I mean... Oh. Well, <laughs> long story short, uh, he grew on my land, and now... Oh, this is your land? But the lion's owns it now! <sighs> God. Oh, it's... Oh, Damn I, it. I, I, feel, I feel for, for you. <laughs> oh, my emotes don't work, so... <laughs> 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 one orc, one tree, and an alliance trying to bring him down. You know what? You, you, you. I, I've been shitting on it, but I am excited for Classic WoW because I'm just excited to see what cool experience Blizzard is going to give us. And in a mm. way, it's almost getting like two WoW expansions. That's and you great. know, if, if it detracts and we get like less of a Warlords or, or what is this expansion called, Battle for Azrael, yeah. it's a little bit lesser. Maybe it'll be worth it just for the month or two of nostalgia fun we get from Classic WoW anyway. You know? Yeah. Maybe that'll be really exciting. Yeah. I guess. Plus, I think a lot of people are going to come back for it, and then yeah. that might even yeah. make them play the new that might WoW. Make, yeah, that might make them play the new WoW, too, because they'll play mm. through Classic, and then they want to see what's new. Yeah. Know? So I think that's probably one of the reasons they're doing it, is they're just like, hey, we can probably reinvigorate a lot of people to just play WoW. Oh, and crap, then, I lost you. Well, oh, there you are. So they're probably just, they're probably thinking it from that perspective of like, yeah, we'll sell a bunch of, we'll sell a bunch more copies than we would have if we didn't do it or something. I uh, guess, I guess I, I, I guess I was never really excited. It's not that I wasn't excited. It's that just I got so many questions. Yeah. You know? Here's it's, the Debbie Downer. I, well, I, I feel like <laughs> Blizzard has an, oh, an endless challenge ahead of them. Mm. Why? Of the, if there's somebody that do it justice, I think it's that company can do it. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, I agree. 
So. Uh, oh well. It's and if it comes out and it sucks, then that would be funny, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, yeah. if, imagine if they waste all this time to do classic <laughs> WoW and it just ends up stupid. That would be hilarious. Like they throw in achievements or some shit and it's like just, log no, in to like, the just Imagine like they keep like current talent builds and stuff. Oh yeah. So you can just play. Well, we wanted people to be able to play any spec, so now you can play. And it's just like trivializes all the content. <laughs> Everybody well, you know can just what? be superheroes. Um, one thing is that I really loved about the old talent system, even though I think it was worse, is that every time you leveled up, you got a talent point. And they don't do that in current WoW. In current WoW, it's like, you leveled up, good job. I agree. I agree. I, 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 I understand their philosophy behind doing that. Yeah. So. Like, even if it was like, oh, I get 1% crit, it was still better than nothing of like, you unlocked a dungeon. It's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think this was the Ghost Crawler age when they decided to get rid of it. And to mm -hmm. be honest, I, I agree with their philosophy behind the old talent tree just made it so all you could do was make mistakes. Mm -hmm. However, they completely neglected the point of how fun it is to level up and put points in shit. Yeah. Because even, even if, if you're making meaningless. a bad decision in the sense that you could make a better talent tree because mm -hmm. you, you, know, you just didn't know and you're ignorant and you're just like, oh, I didn't do the math, damn it, why did I put a <laughs> yeah. point and I'm brewed fire blast? Um, I think it's still really, really fun to do yeah. that every level and it's exciting. And then in current WoW, it's just like you level up and it's meaningless. Yeah. It's, just, it's like, what does that mean? Does it mean anything? Well, it means some of your base stats went up, I guess. Yeah. You don't really pay attention to them when you're leveling. So. Like, it could be extremely meaningless. It could be like, you get to put a color on the color wheel. Like, yeah, I picked green. <laughs> like, does this impact the game at all? No, but I did it. Like, it could, yeah. it's just something that makes well, it also leads to excitement, too, because you always feel like, oh, three more points and then I get that thing. Yeah. You know? Whereas yeah. right now, it's like four more levels and I get that thing, but you don't really have that, like, reminder. I have that, mm -hmm. whenever I play WoW right now, especially because of how fast you level, I don't really think about what I'm about to get. I just get it when I get it. I'm like, oh, I got such and such. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in Classic Whoa. WoW, you have to go to the trainer and rank yeah, up yeah, your you abilities. The oh, well, I was even God. saying with pets, like if you're a hunter, you got to keep your pet happy and you want certain foods. Oh, you gotta, my God, that's right. <laughs> you got to buy arrows. You got to buy mats. If you're rogue, you got to buy your poison. You got to buy mats. <laughs> oh, my God. You have to buy mats. Oh, man, I made a one of my first videos I ever made was... Uh, um, how long it takes to summon water for Molten Core for all the <laughs> oh, yeah. stupid healers and shit. I remember shit. that. And I like translated it to how much time that is if you were just to go work a 9 to 5 and how much money <laughs> you're actually giving them of your own personal time. Yeah. You worked a crappy <laughs> minimum wage job. <laughs> Well, you could sell people portals too. They're like, can you please give me a portal or a You're like, I can for a gold. Hey, remember when you hit, so like, what level do you get a mountain WoW? Well, in the original WoW, it wasn't 20, like it was 40. Yeah. And, by the way, you didn't actually get your mount at 40, because you can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing I want to go back and see, too, is because, like, when I hit 40, I was no near, nowhere near being able to afford it. I didn't get my mount till 44. Well, now and you would just save your gold. You would know. Well, that's you the thing. I was mistakes. dumb. I was a dumb 14-year-old who's like, ah, what do I do? I was like, I'll go farm turtle shells. I was like the dumbest. Hey, it costs money to respec. After a oh, while, yeah. it costs upwards to 50 gold to respec. Mind you, mm -hmm. I just told you that you have to save up for your mount. 50 gold is a lot in old WoW. Yeah. Okay? In old lot. WoW, 50 gold is a lot. Like, you better be an auction house wizard. Because if <laughs> yeah. you're not, you're going to be poor. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I'm kind of looking forward to as well, is just seeing if I can get that money for buying a mount. So even epic mounts, like you're not going to get your epic mount at 60. Oh, you're, you're not, like not getting your epic mount at 60. Speedy. Yeah. You guys remember non-epic mount speed? Get even ready. Even going back gonna... to raids, like get to the raid and like, oh, hey, he's got an epic mount. Oh, man, did, can don't, that didn't so they fast. increase base move speed of walking around the world? Because I I'm they did. I'm pretty sure we walked slower back in the day, and they actually increased it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so, they did, too. So, like, I just, like, I turn on your walk toggle, guys, and it's not going to be that bad, but it's, you know, it's going to be slower than what you're used it's to. probably, like, 15 to 20% slower than this, how we're running. Yeah, well, I think we're in ghost speed, right? Don't we get some oh, buff yeah, in, we're in ghost, ghost speed. speed. Probably. But, but again, there was no buff and ghost speed back then either. <laughs> that Like, Night Elves had a racial for it, too. Like, they could move faster in ghost speed. Oh, form. yeah, that's right. It was actually valuable in, or, uh, in specific scenarios. like Breathing underwater, too. You would drown. Yep. A lot. 
Your Unless you were, I remember being undead and being like, I have the underwater racial. I can breathe for slightly longer. I'm trying to just think of like all those things next. There were a lot. You, like, remember, even, do you remember, like I was a mage, so one of the things you could do in old World of Warcraft is polymorph people for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, and then when they would break out of it, you'd polymorph them again. And <laughs> yeah. I used to go to Warsong Gulch and time out certain people. Just, <laughs> like, I would spawn, and the only thing I would do is run up to them and polymorph them, and just try to keep them perch chain polymorphed. Just, mm. just to mess with them. Oh, that's know? why, like, an actual character I want to level is just a rogue. That's probably what I'm going to make, just because I know how annoying rogues are from back then, where you just run around stun-locking people and ganking that, and That's the other problem, too, that people <laughs> aren't thinking about. They're, like, you got to understand that we're going back to classic WoW. Only everyone is an expert at this game. So there's <laughs> yeah. two types of people playing. People who played classic WoW who know what they're going to do, and mm -hmm. you're going to have people who have no idea what they're going to do and get their butt handed to them by people who know what they're going to do. Yeah. I know, I know for a fact. I'm gonna be like the welcome to the classic experience. <laughs> Just like keep stun locking people. <laughs> like, like if you're like, I'm gonna make a shadow priest. You're an idiot. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a human priest. You didn't roll a dwarf priest. Like, you're like first off, you're alliance. You're main rolling dwarf priest. You wanna be a priest? You're being dwarf. If you roll anything else, you've made a critical mistake. Because in classic WoW. Dwarf priests had the ability to make somebody immune to a fear, and half the bosses you needed that for tanks. Well, you didn't need it. You'd have to do it on hard mode, yeah. horde mode, where your where your tank has to like uh, stance swap. To... <laughs> My goodness, there's just there's so many shenanigans and silliness and weird quirks of classic WoW. And yeah. if we get them all back, you guys will everyone will relive through like the things they. It's like. <laughs> it's like imagine an old thing, just like an, an old show, and then you improve on that show, and you add new things, and you know you clean up your UI, <laughs> and you make better graphics, and you're just improving it, and you're just yeah. like, oh yeah, you know Wheel of Fortune, it looked like shit in the black and white days, but now look at all this cool tech, and now you're just people are just like, yeah, but we want the old shit. It's just <laughs> it's gonna be clunky and so oh. Oh, nostalgia <laughs> clunky. I get, I'm get. i getting more excited at how bad this could end up being. <laughs> and the I'm, thing is, we won't be able to blame Blizzard. That's I won't stand for it. If the community <laughs> shits on Blizzard for giving us a terrible experience, we have to be like, this is what we wanted. <laughs> we asked for it. Well, I think the one thing I'm probably most <laughs> excited for is just being an old Azeroth before the Cataclysm again. Cause yeah. Yeah. One thing is I'm going to be able to make videos about it, which I'm excited about. And the other thing is just getting to go through all the, like, shimmering flats and, yeah. like, lock modan and all that, which is, like, you, it doesn't even have to be, like, in an old, like, oh, the achievement. Like, that's just, like, I can walk around and experience it again, which is cool. Yeah, like, Cataclysm was cool, but it did, like, change the world, so it will be really cool to go back. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, isn't there. that place flooded now, too? Thousand needles. The racetrack. Flooded. Yeah, a thousand needles and shimmering flats Needle. all flooded. And then uh what was the other thing? Um Barons. Yeah, Barons got split in half. And so oh, it's yeah, gonna be the yeah. Mancrick's wife again. Baron's chat's gonna be a <laughs> shit show. Oh my goodness. The thing was Baron's chat was a shit show before people even really acknowledged it as a shit show, and now people know it's a shit show, so it's gonna be an even bigger shit show. Yep. Well, the thing is, as well, is you can't recreate that time period because there wasn't things like data mining and exactly. all that yeah. stuff they do now. It's just like, oh, we got ThoughtBot and maybe Alakazam. <laughs> it's, like, there's, there's, it. it's such a different time, man. Like, mm -hmm. to go back, like, we're not, like, that's the thing. We're not going to be able to relive what Classic WoW was. That's part of getting older, kids. Like, just some of the stuff that I used to do when I was younger, I don't get to re-experience that. That's just life. And we're going to get to do this experience of Classic WoW, but it's not going to be Classic WoW. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, before our time, there's, like, the older people that'd be like, yo, man, let's go party. And they're just like, no, I have kids now, man. I got a family. And they're just like, you don't want to go party, dude? Like, have some beers at the bowling alley? It's like, come on, man. You don't want to go, like, grind boars? And it's oh, like, I dude. got kids now, dude. I can't do dude, that shit. I can't, I still play with a lot of my old classic WoW friends just to yeah. play other games every now and then. And, like, we were just talking about this classic WoW thing, and they were all like, let's just let's go get Steve. 
and Steve was our <laughs> guild leader. Let's get Steve. Let's make him do it again. Because cause, cause the thing is, like, I'm pretty much probably everybody had this that they had if you raided in Classic. You mm -hmm. probably had a guild leader who wanted to kill themselves. Who just <laughs> yeah. hated life. Because mm -hmm. in order to run a WoW guild, it was like a second job. It's yeah. just because you got so much drama, man. You got 40 human beings that are, a lot of them are all teenagers and young kids. They're all mm -hmm. bickering and fighting with each other. And your job as a guild master is to not let it fall apart. So yeah. it's, it's like being, it's like working in customer service, but as a, <laughs> but is. as a part, but as a part-time hobby. Yeah, <laughs> is. A full-time hobby if you're <laughs> And a, even just looking back on that time period, it was like, I remember being one of the, like, why is it this thing happened? I was like, oh God, I was one of the dumb kids. Yes, I was yes. part of the problem. <laughs> yeah, no, I was part of the problem. <laughs> Back in the day, I was the guy being like, it's so stupid that they give everybody epics, and soon everybody will have purples. Yeah, but everybody <laughs> wanted to have purples. The only people who get purples were people who no lifed it, like me. <laughs> yeah. I also no lifed it, but I was in high school, and I could no life it. Yeah, I mean, I could I still was... probably no life it a lot, but... We're yeah. the same. We're, aren't you, like, maybe two years younger than me? I would have been, yeah, like... I think I'm, like... When did you graduate high school? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> what, do you, what do you don't tell people your online age? Like, I'm 30. 31? 30, 30 or 31? I can't remember. Yeah, see, so I would have been, like, like senior going into college. You would have yeah. been, like, going right I remember into high school. Halo for, 2. For I was playing year. a lot of Halo 2. And then it was around, like, now. So we were playing Halo 2 around now back then. And then my one friend was like, dude, you hear about this new game, World of Warcraft, coming out? And I was like, no. He's like, well, it's, I would like, it's like, I'm not going to pay to play that. I'm not going to play a I, game. I came into this game as an elitist, man. I came into this <laughs> game in Dark Age of Camelot, and Dark Age of Camelot didn't really have competitive PvE. It just had competitive PvP. Yeah. So nobody PvEs in Dark Age. Or rather, there, was, sorry, there would have been a few, but it wasn't a big thing in the community. Yeah. Nobody's really, like, serious about it. So when I came into WoW, I came in thinking of it, well, I'm going to PvP. And mm. I'm going to do everything that worked in Dark Age of Camelot. And Dark Age of Camelot was a big game, like... Casters were very overpowered. Casters could generally one or two shot you. So of course, I just played a mage. The reason why I picked Gnome is in Dark Age of Camelot, you couldn't see nameplates from across the map. In World of Warcraft, you can see people's red names like everywhere. Uh, yeah. So you'd pick a small race so you could hide in bushes and shoot people with spells. Like that was, <laughs> so that's why I'm a gnome. That's why I made a, a gnome wizard. For the, the I tactical wanted to advantage. shoot people in bushes. <laughs> and, you know, and you know what all my friends made? Gnome wizards. That's we were all gnome wizards. And then the first we went to Alterac Valley and when we were first sixty and we were all specialized to do AE and all we would do is try to run into the horde group and spam all our AEs. And it never really worked. And so we just kinda lost interest and some of us quit the game. I went and started doing raiding because I was just like, I don't know, I kinda like the game still. Is yeah. there something else I can do? <laughs> Even thinking back on it, I actually quit WoW a few times while playing Vanilla. I didn't need to. Yep. I remember I quit one time just to go play Star Wars Galaxies. Well, I think I, I think it took me. Uh, I think I quit maybe once or twice. I remember stopping at thirty and then stopping mm -hmm. for a month, and then coming back. I think I stopped at thirty too. Actually, I remember I stopped at thirty and I was like, ah, I'm not even close to my mount yet, <laughs> or something like that. Oh my goodness! Like you just you see how we're walking around. There was a lot of walking in Classic WoW. Yeah, like a there was lot. a lot of walking. In fact, like, I remember in uh, Classic WoW, people would, like, pay for uh, guides to level up. I remember one was called, like, JoJo's Leveling Guide or some yep. shit. And these guides were insanity. Like, yeah. these guys were the type of guys that they would be like, All right, next head to Ironforge, go to the auction house, buy a frost oil pa <laughs> potion, four <laughs> bandages, some food for healing. Oh my god, remember how after combat you would have to eat food oh and god, drink? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> so, so like, I don't know if you guys who never played Classic WoW, maybe you came in in Burning Crusader Wrath. Like, so many people came in in Wrath and loved mm. Wrath. In Classic WoW, you had to, like, kill some mobs, then everybody would sit and drink and eat. Yeah. Because that's how you restore oh, health. Wow. Like, you, this is how you did it. Mm -hmm. You know how you do it now? I don't know. It's just, you're just full health automatically. Well, even, like, when I do my WoW leveling Let's Play, it's like, I don't even have to pay attention. I'm just, like, spamming buttons. And people are like, you're yeah. doing the wrong rotation. I'm like, it doesn't matter. I kill a shit in, like, two hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's hilarious. But back then, it was like, you couldn't do that. You had to actually know what you were doing in the rotation. Dude, like if you're if you're like, man, Rob, I've never been good at these rotations and wow, good news. There are some classes that do not have rotations. Mage mm. is a great one. Mage, you push one button in combat. 
It's like, what are you, uh, you're a fire mage? Spam fireball. But what about fire blast? Why would you click fire blast? It's just mana inefficient to spam fireball. <laughs> because you're going to run out of mana. You can't nuke the entire boss fight, so you nuke efficiently. So you mm. don't click anything else. You just nuke fireball. <laughs> but what I'm if I'm a frost mage? Well, then you just use frostbolt. I'm Bru trying to think what the fastest leveling things were. Because I remember when new servers would open up, they would always be like, who's the top level on the server right now? And you could like look it up in the the thingy or whatever it was, like search by levels, and everyone be like, "Oh shit, this guy's level 47 already." I think it was usually hunters, like hunters level the fastest. And then I don't remember what second was, and I'm trying to remember. Druids like, were like slow as shit. I don't think anyone so, wanted to play. So druids. if you're, let's say you're a horde and you're level right. 17, and mm -hmm. you're like, "Man, I want to do like a dungeon." Okay, so here's what you gotta do. First, you gotta get to Westfall. Because there's no way to get to Westfall by just teleporting or queuing or anything like that. Oh, I found a secret cave. See, we could fight. <laughs> this is what we could fight over. Yeah, I'll go back to this, to this story. Just imagine we fought this and you're just like, the Alliance are going to be attacking. And basically all you've done is <laughs> told me on Skype like a few days. Hey, tell your guild we're going to do an event tomorrow at 3. And I'm like, okay. Now, like staying in the back like the general be like, form yeah. a line. <laughs> like block off the entrance. And then we're just like, like them and then we're just like, charge. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't we don't do it like that, right? Because I have everybody in that like alliance gear that you get from doing uh, the Warlords of Draenor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or ah uh, shit, we won't we won't have transmog in Classic WoW. It'll be so hard to get people in uniforms. Don't have heirlooms. We'll have to have set gear. You'll be like <laughs> farm this boar until you get eagle pants of the the wild that are red colored. <laughs> You'll need it for our uniform. We'll have to grind uniforms. Then people come true. in with their shields, clunk, clunk. Everybody walk! Forward march! <laughs> your trolls are in the background, your troll shamans are in the background. <laughs> like blowing the horn. Through. Like burn. <laughs> oh man, shamans were so overpowered on horde for PvP. Yeah, because the shamans had bloodlust. And, and you, well... Did, well, did they have bloodlust? Yeah, Classic? they had bloodlust. I remember because Alliance would be oh, like, yeah. I wish we had bloodlust. Yeah, we didn't have bloodlust. Mm hmm. That sucked. Yeah, but you had Shaman's paladin buffs. Amazing in PvP because you just frost shock people for a third yeah. of their health. So and it was on a five second cooldown. So you shot them and you video, run away. Like old YouTube video, where he'd be like frost shock, frost shock, and he just like kept saying frost shock over and over. Uh, oh yeah, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, well, uh, wow classes. So I was trying to think. I leveled. What did I level in vanilla? I leveled a hunter, a priest, and a warrior. So I know all, I know all those. My warrior was like the easiest. I thought well, actually, warrior no, was, was my hunter, easiest. Then warrior is pretty easy. No, no warrior was one of my easiest because mm. all you had to do was eat. And I think once you get to certain levels, I think I think I went like fury. I think fury mm. was self healing. Yeah, fury was really good. And I remember because yeah. I'd get. Uh, I really wanted to play a warrior because I wanted Herod's shoulder and I wanted the warrior PVP stuff because I thought it looked really cool. And so I remember I went fury. Like, and I what got are they gonna do with PvP? Man, the original PvP system was bullshit. It's because because it wasn't it like only one person a week got promoted to the warlord rank. Oh yeah. And so basically the only way to get it was well you had to share account share. They didn't even have that when it first came out. So I don't even yeah, that's a good point. In. They might it not even put that like, in. It might just be no PvP gear. So yeah. enjoy. If you like PvP, you have to raid. If you don't raid, you will not enjoy PvP. And it's like, like they had honorable kills and dishonorable kills. And you could be yeah. like, ah, oh, but come on, Rob, that, that's not true. No, no, dude, it is. It's like, imagine somebody having a weapon in WoW that's like a 200 DPS weapon, and you have a weapon that is 35 DPS. That is the classic advantage. It's yeah. It might there might be maybe um the hyperbole a little bit, but it it is astronomically different. There are people that in classic WoW could just be like two or three characters in terms of power. You know, mm -hmm. you're just a bunch of piccolos fighting, you know, Gogetas. It's just out of control here. Yeah, well, that's the other thing is, like we were talking about earlier, like where are they gonna put it? Like, are they gonna set it up before the PvP system is in? Or are they gonna put it like? when the PvP system has got introduced, because then there's going to be like Warsong Dolch and Rathi Basin. But Rathi Damn. Basin even wasn't until after a while. Respect can cost like, money. D Discipline Priests? They don't exist. I don't even remember what Discipline was for. I think it was for nothing. I don't think there was yeah, such a thing as a Discipline Priest. Yeah, you either played Holy or Shadow. And you play Holy or Shadow. 
So if you want to level up as a holy priest, you get, basically only get to level up with friends. And you'd usually have like one shadow priest <laughs> is all you had in the guild. Yeah. Everyone else went holy because like, well, you gotta heal. Yeah. Because shadow doesn't do anything. It's like, hey, you want to play half a mage? Yeah. Like, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna. And, I'm interested. And my in and, and, and hey, and my memory's a little foggy. Like maybe shadow priests. There's specific times where they were good in classic mm -hmm. WoW. Not that I remember, but man. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Where can we it's go? Be crazy. How do we? How, how do we? Where? Uh, how do we get somewhere new? We're, we're trapped in. Yeah, we're trapped in the mountains. Uh, can, we, can we go through the staircase to Blackwing? Can, to get to the other side, and then it be in dusk. I yeah, well, we could go to Black Rock Mountain. Man, we've been talking about classic WoW this whole time. I guess <laughs> we really so much, have. You know, you know why? It's just so many fun experiences to kind of just remember, and I'm enjoying like poking holes and blizzards. Yeah. I can't believe they're doing this. This <laughs> is crazy that they're doing this. It's just like, it's a pretty big deal overall. It's I mean, a pretty big deal. Yeah, like so many people for so long, like, oh, they're never going to do it. They're never going to do it for like years. And now they're like, we'll do it. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, OK. And so like there's so many people being, what's it going to be like? And then people reminiscing like we do, like, what was Vanilla well like? And it's just a whole shit show of information. I, I will say that if you if you're a WoW fan, the best time to play will be right when it happens. Mm -hmm. Like like you basically need to be like, all right, when is this coming out? And how can I make sure that I have a lot of free time? Yeah. When it comes out. Can, can I take can I take some holiday time? Can I free up my weekend so I can just dump my weekend into it? Because if you want to, because if 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 I can't tell you it's going to be a good experience, but I can tell you that it'll probably be the only chance you get to do that experience. Yeah. One of my favorite things about MMORPGs when I was growing up is when an MMORPG is new and it's mm. fresh, it's it's so much more enjoyable than a month after. Oh yeah. Like when it's fresh and everybody's on that same level and you're all together. It's 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 like a little bit like a race, but more a more a lot like everybody's just there, and there's so many people and so mm -hmm. many things, and lots of people to meet, and you have guilds and conflicts and drama and. Oh. That's why I still play every every WoW expansion. I like start playing, and I'm like, oh my god, I love this game. This is my this. Is, why did I quit? This is so amazing, and everyone's playing, and we're doing stuff, and it's new. And then after like two three months, I'm like, all right, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I do that every time. Yes, yeah. but that is because so many of your friends are playing, everything's new, everything's fresh, it's like a race, and you're just like, wow, this is crazy, you're like, what's this do? And then people are like, I don't know either, we'll discover together. <laughs> it's like, uh, and then the novelty of that wears off, and all the, the new car smells oh, gone. Dude, the people who try hard Classic WoW, ah, oh, they're throwing away an experience. Because man, the ability to, because when I was young, I try harded it. And yeah. I mean, I had a lot of fun, but man, if I could have been in the, these role play guilds, that did so mm. many fun things because like a lot of a lot of the stuff you like you see like old the classic wow do you remember that old role play uh uh oh there's so many things i could mention there's oh the gnomergon thing got happened when the old when all the gnomes would run and then it became a charity event oh yeah Man, that was always such a classic thing people would do in wow would just be mm. to make gnomes and then run around the entire world yeah um, the funerals the the marriages the the just the 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 random fights over Torin Mill crap that were yeah. just nothing, and a lot of those were always started by big role play guilds just fighting big role play guilds. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember. Oh, there's that one YouTube video that's like really old with the funeral, and that's where they played the like scabble bobbly bobbly bobble scat man. And that's like the first time I. Well, heard that's that tryhards actually killing the role players. Yeah, um, <laughs> that was. Uh, this is probably a counterpoint to my argument. <laughs> yeah. No, I guess if you try hard, you can shit on people, and I guess that's fun for you. Yeah. Um. I just <laughs> I'm not a try hard person. I just I do the dumb shit. I don't care. I am, but it's not as fun. Is way Part of it's also because I'm not good at games, so if I try hard, I'd just be bad. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. But I always have more fun not try harding. That's just me, too. Uh, like, I remember, I'm trying to remember leveling up. So I remember how we're like, oh, man, it takes forever to get to six. Or then I'm trying to think, like, what did I do? So it was like, you spent six levels in the starting zone. But it was usually yep. like, you had to get the cactus apples. And you had to do all that shit. It was like, all right, so now I'm level two. And then Those quests like, were longer, too. Yeah. Or like, 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 there was an old joke in WoW. Remember where you'd go and you'd kill an animal and you'd have to collect eyes and it'd be like a spider and it drops no eyes. Yeah, yeah. Like, the dude, it had eight. 
the zebra hooves. Every quest in Classic WoW was like that. Yeah. Like, it was, it was just all like, go collect 12 g gizzards, and none of the birds will have gizzards. You will kill 50 birds. You know why the quest <laughs> is like that? Because in order to, that's the only quest you get to do that level. It's the yeah. gizzard quest. <laughs> You're doing the gizzard quest and boar dongs. <laughs> you do those, and then now now you got 10% of the level. Now grind the rest for 90% of the level. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so I remember you did that, and then you went to... I'm trying to remember all the zones. A lot of zones, you would spend a long-ass time in them, too. Like Stranglethorn, you spent a long time in. Collecting the books? Yeah, the books, the green pages. I would just buy well, some you, on the auction. You house. had to... Yeah, well, you had to... But the thing is, that's, that's going to be hard to do in Classic, because there won't be people just dumping books. Everybody yeah. will need all the books, so the books will be valuable. Sell them, get mount money. There it is. Uh, I'm trying to think. And then professions. I think professions were more useful back then, but they were more like you needed that, like, <laughs> uh, what's something? Like no. blacksmithing. I think professions become something you need in the Burning Crusade, and before that, they were just really good for creating gear. I think if you're playing Classic WoW, you want to go collecting trade skills 100%. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I remember my I, warrior. I went herbalism mining, and I just gather shit and sell it. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think unless you got a real hard-on for being a crafter role player, uh, or you're going to be in a try-hard guild, and you're, like, the one guy who's going to be the blacksmithing. Because here's the thing. Um, all of those skills to get the recipes, you had to grind rep. So if you want to get, like, the uh, specific, yeah. it's not enough just to level your blacksmithing. Now you have to go grind. Like, we're in the zone where you would grind for the, uh, dark the iron. black, dark iron dwarves. Yeah. And, uh, here, let's go, let's go show them what they're going to be grinding. <laughs> get all, uh, here, I'll, show you. I'll show you where you have to spend literally, <laughs> <laughs> 40 hours for Dark Vader. <laughs> you guys are complaining <laughs> about that shit? All right. Let's go on a let's go on an adventure to a mine to show you the beasts <laughs> that you will slay. Because guess what? There's not even enough to slay. So somebody else is trying to do the rep quest down here. <laughs> You're fighting over the four mobs <laughs> that spawn down here. That's, this is the reality we're going back to. Okay, kids. Okay, boys and girls. Okay, older men that are coming back once more. Doctor Rob's reality trip. We're putting. We're putting. We're going on a reality You're trip. Ruining my fun. <laughs> 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 that's that's why I say don't try hard it. Because if you go back in and you're just like, nah, I'm gonna play an orc and I'm just gonna zug zug, then you're gonna have the time of your life. But if you yeah. go back in and you're like, I'm gonna become a blacksmith and I'm gonna raid multi core, and I'm gonna raid this stuff. I mean, there's gonna be guilds that are gonna know how to do everything that will do. And that's the thing. All this big content will get beat in the first. I don't know. However long they can get 25, 30 people yeah. to level. Because it's all, it's all stuff, all the bosses are documented. Yeah. Like, every, everything is, they know how, people know how to do these encounters. Mm hmm There's nothing, there's no newness to that. So it's not like, you know, you're going to have the weeks of people trying to be Cthulhu, but he's actually impossible. Oh, we went the wrong way. <laughs> I yeah. got lost. I didn't grind this that much. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really grind anything. To be honest, uh, I was thinking of like, uh, like dire mall tribute runs and shit, where you had to like have someone make the <laughs> the you ogre like suit. turn into the orc suit. <laughs> yeah, the, the that's actually suit. kind of fun though. Yeah. That's that's a yeah. thing where if you did it once, you'd be enjoyable. But that's yeah. the problem is you don't do it once; you do it a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was kind of a, it was cool because it was a unique thing where it was like you avoid killing the bosses and then that's like rewarding I don't that's like something I don't think they would do now yeah but. um man this might all be different yeah yeah um, we're, we're gonna find our way and see like I don't remember these this doesn't look like classic was, like, stuff this, I just made a, this is way too fancy I made a pointless top 10 thing about my favorite dungeons and someone's like you didn't put uh what's it called black rock depths on the list and I was like I hated black rock depths black rock depths is, is just terrible I hated I it was like one like of my Strathome. least favorite instances. People like Strathome and stuff, man. I, you know why? I, I, guess, I think I don't like it because I just did it too much. Probably. I, got, I don't want to do that stuff. I just remember in Blackrock Depths we'd get lost. I hated the boss fights. I just, it was, I didn't like it. <laughs> it was just, I didn't have fun there. Oh my god, and then remember Upper Blackrock Spire when it was like, uh, was it a 15 man or a 10 man? 
Skull and Bands and stuff were too. Like they were yeah. originally the forty man raids, but that might have been in beta. See, I'm there's some things that beta and classic for me all kind of merge together, yeah. so I can't remember what's what. What I remember is we'd be grouping up for Upper Black Rock Spire and be like, does anyone have the key to unlock the door? And it'd be like, I don't think anyone has the key. And so you'd have to, like, go find someone that had the key, like, in town oh, to come unlock yeah. it. Yeah! The keys to get to <laughs> places! I think rogues are good for that, too. I think they could pick lock a bunch of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think rogues could. But I remember there's lots, upper lots black. of weird exploits. Remember getting attuned for Molten Core? Hey, guys, yeah. remember, I don't know if there's attunements. Are those coming back? <laughs> well, yeah, they're going to come back. I remember getting a tune from Anixia. Anixia was also, a... also, how's it going to work? Like, is AQ going to be out right away? Um, Because the AQ has, like, the 20-man dungeon. Are we going to have, like... Yeah, I don't know. It would almost be cool if Blizzard, like, had, like, the system where they could just launch the next patch. And so mm -hmm. you knew that when the next patch was coming out in a month. So you get excited for a patch that's already been released. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> the Blackwing Lair patch is coming out again. <laughs> well, oh, it was interesting, man. too, because Molten Core was, like, trash mob city. It was yeah. so much trash. And then Blackwing Lair happened, and you're like, oh my god, we fight a boss right away? Like, this is phenomenal. All right, this is it. You want to level up? I forget why you have to do it. Maybe this is for fire resist in order to beat Molten Core. But that's the thing. If you don't, if AQ's already out, then you probably never need to do this rep. So, because you could probably uh, just skip Molten Core. For Molten Core, you had the Hydraxian Water Lord rep. Oh yeah, that too. What was that yeah. for? Putting up, dousing the flames that actually spawned? You had to douse the flames to spawn more bosses and shit. Yeah. Like, are they going to have the Scarab quest in AQ? Are people going to be able to uh, get their Scarab's title? I don't know. It's a good question. Actually, the titles didn't even exist. It oh, was yeah, just... Titles didn't exist. It was just, if you did that, you got a title, and you were the yeah. only person in a game with a title. Actually, maybe <laughs> they did exist, because I think you could get, like, the title private, and I always thought that was funny in PvP. It was, like, oh, rank yeah. two or three, and I was like, hey, I'm private. <laughs> <laughs> like they didn't even add that until some later point. So this is this is the cave. There's some lizards in here. I think there's like uh, in classic WoW there's like four or six maybe. And uh, you just kill them forever to level up your dark iron. What I don't remember. The, maybe maybe there's another the way to level spring. dark iron. But I remember this is how I had to do it. What was the winter spring like mount rep? The, that you had to the grind? cat. I yeah, think it was root cloth. Oh, yeah, I think it was Rune Claw. Yeah, I remember I sold my Dark Age of Camelot healer for $200. <laughs> um, and I bought Rune Cloth. I bought WoW Gold through uh, <laughs> China Farmers. Oh. And uh, then I bought Rune Cloth just to get the cat mount. Nobody had it. I was yeah. a gnome on a cat mount. Oh, my God, that was cool. And my, <laughs> my, me and my friend Spid both did it. Oh, it good times. Yeah, that was one of those things where even getting different mounts was hard. Usually you just had your one mount, because usually the training costed nothing and the mounts costed a lot. Well, now it's kind of flipped. Yeah. Because it used to be like, oh, well, I got my like, wolf my wolf mount. That was the most oh, expensive thing. we can go thing. to the key door. The key door is right here to get like into the oh, zone. Yeah. To take... So, so, and I remember uh, what was it? Because you'd get your one mount, and then you couldn't really buy any other ones, and you couldn't buy the other faction mounts either. You had your mount, unless you got to Exalted with, like, the other factions. Yeah, you had to be Exalted with another faction to get anything beside your default mount. So if so you're, if a, you're a known a wolf or some shit, you're like, I gotta yeah. get Ar Orgrimmar Exalted. Yeah. I think there were some exceptions. Like, I think you could get the Alterac Valley mount. So oh, I think yeah. you guys had a wolf, and we had a ram, but that was Exalted in Alterac Valley, so... Mm -hmm. Enjoy enjoy your 100 hours of Alterac Valley! It's like a ZG, like, I have the tiger. And so, like, on the Horde, you usually want the tiger and Alliance on the Raptor, because it's, like, a different thing. Maybe we'll get lucky, Crandor, and they'll add classic loot boxes that just give us free loot and gold. <laughs> because we can just spend all our YouTube monies to get it and then laugh at everybody. <laughs> I say that I'm, like, <laughs> so tired of loot boxes and things. Yeah, yeah. It's just, like, I get it for even card games, because card games like, oh, I got new cards as packs. But they've just taken that mod, like, that whatever it's called, the method of loot box. You know, I'll give it at least to Blizzard. I felt like they were at least a little head on the game. The loot boxes in their games kind of felt like they were in right before I got sick of loot boxes. Yeah. 
But yeah. now it's like every game has them. I look back on Blizzard, I'm like, oh, that's not a good look for you boys and girls. <laughs> you got so many class loot boxes in your game. This was at the gate. You needed a key. So oh, yeah, I remember you see that. This, you see this tunnel? You can't use this tunnel unless you get a key. Which, yeah. by the way, you have to put on your key ring. Was was like a bag or oh, something. Oh, they didn't have key rings. They didn't. Have, oh yeah, they, was that not? When was that introduced? That was the introduced Crusade? like so, right yeah. before BC or some shit. You just had to keep it in your bag. You had to keep it in your bag. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, like you know your big old bags you got. You're gonna be lucky to have twelve slaughters by the time you're forty. Like, oh yeah. That's like mage weave cloth, that 12 slot bag. <laughs> You're going to be playing for 40 hours, not 40 hours, for like 10 hours with like 10 slot bags. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh my great. goodness. <laughs> was, uh, yeah, loot boxes, it's like every game. That's the problem. It's just every game feels like instead of giving you this thing we'd normally give you, you can just get it through loot boxes because it's a way to profit. And it's just so annoying. That was like Battlefront. I wasn't even mad about the Darth Vader thing, so I didn't even know about it. I just hated Battlefront because we were playing it, and then someone would just get Darth Maul, and the game was over. And uh -huh. it was just like, are you Darth Maul? And it's like, yeah! And it's like, alright, sweet, you get to kill everyone. And it's like, nice! And it's like, are you not Darth Maul? It's like, no. It's like, well, you're, you lose. I don't want to heat on EA because I'm already like sick of it. Like, yeah. It's just like, there's so much hate on it. It's just like, really? You guys are, we're still buying EA games? Actually, you know what? I shouldn't say the whole, like, really people are buying games. You know why these games keep selling? Mm. Because gaming really hasn't hit, you know, the full mainstream world. Like, gaming is yeah. still, like, young people do it. Like, yeah. our moms and dads don't play these games, right? But we still do. And, like, I've been told since I was 15 that I would grow out of this. I ain't grown out of this. Yeah. I will be a 75-year-old man being like, I'm so excited for all the new hours, <laughs> bitch. Like, that, that will be me. So the reason why we keep having people buy games is straight up because people keep being born. Mm -hmm. And they grow up, and they turn 15, and they're like, oh, sweet, the newest Star Wars game. I'll buy it. What? It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Electronic arts, you'll never fool me again. People think that it's like people keep getting tricked over and over. And there's maybe some people that are getting tricked over and over, okay? Yeah. But a lot of them are just people that are just... Because, like, really? Like, people, like EA is, is a shitty company? This is something we've known for <laughs> yeah. my entire life. Long ass time. <laughs> when were they a good company? They were, like... People, when Mirror's Edge came out in 2007, 2005, so 10 <laughs> years ago, people were like, man, maybe EA's turning over a new leaf. No, nope, that was just one year. Because before that and after that, they are just shitty. Even look at Activision. It was like Bobby <laughs> Kotick or the shit his name. is just like, yeah, we'll get him with the <laughs> Like, you know, he's just like this evil goblin man just sitting in there like, yeah, we'll collect all the loot box money. <laughs> And I love Blizzard, um, but I mean, I, I, the Hearthstone is too expensive right now. It's, it is too expensive. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's too expensive. And I mean, Blizzard deserves to eat a little crap for this because, especially for what Hearthstone is, because it's not Overwatch, it's not World of Warcraft, it's not even StarCraft Two or Diablo. It feels like a lot smaller of a game, and I'm not trying to rip on the developing team of Hearthstone. I love these guys to death. I think they're mm. all very smart guys and they do a lot of smart things. And maybe even some of the pricing stuff isn't even their choices, yeah. right? Ultimately, of the guys that we like, the people who make the game might not set the price. Mm -hmm. um, but the game's just too expensive. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's like, well, it's one thing because with Hearthstone packs, you open a pack and every card can be useful even if someone's like this card sucks it can still have its moments while with a loot box you might pay for a oh, loot box right. and you get like a skin or yeah, like no a chroma yeah. <laughs> like you got green and blue lucio now it's like oh boy blue's like in a weird places with their loot boxes though because in heroes of the storm I, like so i play a lot of heroes of the storm I, mm. I really like that game it's probably the blizzard game i probably played played the most this last year with my buddy right. And w before the Loot 2.0 thing came out, where they introduced loot boxes, mm -hmm. we would spend about, I don't know, maybe $20 every other month. Maybe we buy a skin. Maybe we buy the yeah. new hero coming out. Um, probably each of us was, one of us was probably spending 20 bucks a month on the game. Mm -hmm. I haven't spent a dime on 2.0 heroes. 
And, mm. it, and it's not because I hate loot boxes. I don't really care about loot boxes. It's because I don't feel the need to buy anything. Because yeah. I get so many loot boxes, and one of the reasons I would buy skins for heroes is because I didn't have a skin for a hero. And I'd be like, ah, I'm going to get this skin for a hero because I kind of like it. Yeah. But now I'm like, I don't know. I'll get the skin out of a box eventually. I guess that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of... Like, even League of Legends. Like, I play a lot of League of Legends. And they've kind of shifted their entire system over to loot boxes and crafting and shit. And it's like... It's just... It's made it more confusing. It's not like, yeah. oh man, I can't, I'm not to figure this out, but it's just kind of like, like alright, I got a It's like unnecessary confusion so yeah. you can make more money. Uh, yeah, exactly. And another thing is, like, when loot boxes first started coming out, I did kind of like them because I thought they were fun. Yeah. I thought it was kind of fun. Instead of just getting 12 points after a match, I would get a loot box after 10 matches. Yeah. And I could get stuff out of that. And in some ways, they can be exciting. But basically, they're never exciting the second I spend money on them. Yeah. Because the second I can spend money on them, it means they're not really balanced towards, you know, progression. They're balanced towards me spending money on them. But I don't want to spend money and gamble. I am yeah, do it's not gambling, have a essentially. personality. Like, like I, I've gone to casinos in my life, but, like, I'm the type of person, when I go to a casino, I bring $100, and then I gamble with $100, and then I run at $100, and I'm like, that was fun. It's like an amusement park. Yeah. Like, if you go to an amusement park, you might take, like, 25 bucks or 50 bucks if you want to play all the rip-off games. Yeah. But you know they're rip-off games. The reason why you play them is because you're just like, I don't know, I go to amusement parks once every five years. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> why not just, why not live this life experience for $25 and just lose at all these games. Yeah. And it's like, that, it's that's just loot gambling. boxes. <laughs> yeah, loot boxes are just gambling, and they're doing it because they're making more money for it. Like, it used to be like, oh, we can get people to buy skins and shit. And now it's like, oh, we can have them buy the skins, but we could also have them maybe get it in a box, but they might not get anything, and we still get money. And that's what yeah. it's kind of becoming. It's like, it was a nice yeah. side thing of like, maybe I can get a loot box from doing it. And now it's like, everything's through loot boxes and it's like all right this is a little crazy like when overwatch did it i was perfectly fine i was like it's because yeah. the other thing too in overwatch i felt like i was getting coins and skins when that game came out and all the legendaries were a thousand i was like yeah this is personally fine then they started making things that were three thousand i was like okay i guess i won't really be able to get everything mm -hmm. but i don't really care they're just skins right yeah but now you got ea 60 dollar game then loot boxes and yeah. people are have to spend like a hundred plus dollars. Wow, that's it's I'm ugh. yeah, it's, that's it's is, crazy. It is crazy. It's that's like, just that's corporate just... greed at a level of ignorance because they mm -hmm. really just re have no respect for us. And maybe yeah. that's maybe that's deserved. Maybe we we buy this stuff too willingly. Well, so. I had to hit a point eventually where people are just yeah. like, all right, this is enough. Like I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. Cause they're just they're thinking in their corporate minds like all right well we got them to buy the sixty dollar game now we get even we're getting even more money out of them <laughs> they're just like trying well, to see how much they can milk. I played um I think it's an EA game but uh, I really liked the first one the, the Shadows of Mordor. Oh yeah. And as much as I should on EA if they put out a good product I will play it and Shadows of Mordor had loot boxes mm. and I I looked at it and I looked at the loot boxes and I went. Why the fuck would I ever buy loot boxes? Because it was like buying... I guess if there's some sort of end game in Shadows of Mordor where there's a grind and you'd yeah. buy loot boxes. But for someone like me, it was kind of like... Imagine a World of Warcraft. If World of Warcraft had loot boxes, right? Mm -hmm. But you knew you weren't going to play once you got to 60. You're just like, oh, I just want to do the leveling experience then I'm going to quit. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Why would you buy a level 14 loot box that's like, gives you a new weapon! <laughs> and then <laughs> you're going to use it for five minutes and then get a new weapon. Mm -hmm. I guess in classic WoW you'd buy loot boxes, but other than that, <laughs> yeah, well, it's it becomes that's a thing where even classic loot boxes. It's yeah. a thing even in before loot box, like look at Diablo, where people would be like, uh, "Don't spend your shards yet; it's useless. Just wait till your max level." Like shit, like that. <laughs> so you're like, "Oh yeah, okay, I won't do that." It's like yeah. so. Why even have that as an option if it's just like meaningless? Because you're now out leveling and it's like two seconds. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's, it's hard. The other problem with companies like EA and specifically Disney that owns this stuff yeah. is these corporations are so big that you can say boycott them, but eventually they will release something that you're like, damn, but they just make too many things because they have too much power. Mm hmm. Well. Yeah. And that's, I mean, the only way they're going to stop doing it is if you 
they don't sell enough copies or something, and they'll have to, like, dial it back, though. And that's what I mean, is, like, maybe we're to blame. I mean, I really liked Shadows of Mordor. It was really fun. I, I mean, I'm sorry it has loot boxes in it, but mm -hmm. I didn't buy any loot boxes. <laughs> Does that matter? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the other problem with Battlefront 2 is people say it's a really, really fun game. Like, people are saying it's very, very fun. But the sad thing is there are some people in the game that spent money, and so they just stomp you because they have upgrades that you won't get for months. Now, I've played Oof. it, and I'll have you know it's a pretty mediocre game. You think it's mediocre? I think it's mediocre. It was one of those games where I played it at first, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm having more fun than I thought I would. And then I came back, and I was like, oh, no, I don't, I don't like this. It was like... There was, uh, it had that feeling, like I was saying, where it was like, oh, we got Darth Maul in the game, like, we lost and stuff like that. But then, just the the gameplay itself feels so kind of dull. It's just not good. <laughs> like, I don't know, it doesn't feel f rewarding at all if you get a kill, at least from my perspective. But, like, we tried, like, maybe it's just the map we were playing on, the Naboo map or whatever. But, like, it was just, it felt like Battlefield. Like battle, one of the new battlefields, just the, the Star Wars mask over it. Yeah, and even I don't, then, I don't, like Battlefield feels better than it. I mean, obviously, I'm biased because I bought Shadows of Mortar, and anyone who hates EA right now would be like, "Rob, you you just bought a six dollar <laughs> game from EA." But I mean, I don't know if we should really hate on the people who buy EA games and just like them, because I mean, you know what? If they want to support the company either way, then let them support them. It doesn't change the conversation of being like, screw EA. Now you can be like, yeah, well, the only way to hit them is, is to hit them in their pocket, so you need to stop buying it. Yeah, but that's your opinion. If people like it, right, then mm. I don't think we should hate on people who play Battlefront and like it. But the sad thing is, you see people do that. You mm. see them, like, just attack people who are just buying and enjoying the game, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Well, it's like sports games have become a big thing with this, because I like sports games. I've always liked sports games, so it's like sports and so Oh, do they loot box in sport games? That's yeah, a nightmare. like the biggest one they've done is like NBA two K has just become uh like Is LeBron James play. a legendary? Is that just what they do? Is well seriously <laughs> you, it, they've added the RPG element to it of like you're your own player and like you play against other people and everyone's like, okay and they're like, so do you want to buy like higher three point shooting so you make more three pointers? And then people <laughs> like, yeah. And, or you can buy gear for your guy. And so they Oh, so it's not players. Know. That would have been really funny if they, I hope they do it. If they like make a game where they do like NFL or they do NBA and they do loot boxes with the players themselves. Oh, they do. That's they a different do. mode. So you so have can, like in Madden. Can you actually, or, so is there some players who are like higher tier than others? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so funny for trash talking. <laughs> like, can yeah. you imagine if you're like actually in these sports, like you're in the NBA or the NFL, and you're just like, hey, did you see the new uh, <laughs> 2018 EA NBA yeah. game? Why? You're a common nerd. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, what they've done is they've taken <laughs> they've taken like the two kind of things we're used to with PC game, like RPGs and card games, and they've melded them into the sports. So. Like I said, for the RPG element, it's like you're your own character, you play basketball, and you're like, blah, so you want to be like, I have the best three-point shooting and whatever, I've paid money. And then there's the card game aspect of like, open your Madden Ultimate pack, and you open your pack, and you're like, oh boy, I got Star, I got Tom Brady on my team. And so, <laughs> you can like, legit, like, form your teams to that, so people are like, I gotta spend money to buy more packs to open more players, and you're like... They've they've just essentially done, but a lot of those but, people but are, are not. But are the players considered. actually listed as like different rarities? Yeah, they're like legendaries. That is so funny. <laughs> yeah, that is like the funniest thing ever. But the thing is, like, Holy I've never smokes. enjoyed those modes for obvious reasons. I'm like, yeah. I'm not paying money for this shit. Like, I don't care. Like, I just end up playing the single player modes in those. And then, but so many people are in it. Like, even my cousin. My one cousin was just like, oh, you make uh, videos? Like, you ever do Madden? I'm like, no, but I'll play Madden, like, by myself. He's like, oh, I love the ultimate team mode where you just, like, buy your own players and shit. Like, it's so fun. And I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I mean, remember that money is basically just your power as a person. Right. Yeah. When you when you work on your job and you come back home, you know it's money is just is your power. And if if people want to buy loot boxes, and they're ripoffs, 
I mean, we all do stuff that's probably not efficient. Yeah. I mean, I'm never as efficient as when I play a video game. Like, in my real mm -hmm. life, I'm not efficient. <laughs> There's just no way. I wouldn't be this fat because this this weight, oh my god, I'm getting such a debuff for just all these extra pounds I'm having. <laughs> but what am I doing? I'm sitting here talking about loot boxes instead of running around more. Could have been doing that. Yeah. Could have been, like, on a treadmill while talking to Crandor. <laughs> Well, there's power in numbers as well, which is like, yeah. I mean, money is essentially just a number, so there's like power in that, but then there's also power in the number of people being like, I want classic WoWs. Like, all right, fine, we'll give you classic WoWs. <laughs> like, yeah. if it was just a couple of people still, they'd be like, oh, whatever, like, we don't care. But so many people want it that they see the opportunity to be like, all right, like, maybe we can profit from this, because it's a business, just being like, all right, yeah. fine. Yeah. And I mean, all this, I think all the hate on the, in the EA front is going to work. Um, it's already kind of they're kind of starting to buckle in some things, but mm -hmm. I think the more it gets pushed down, it's going to work because Disney. Yeah, like I saw people are hashtagging Disney and children gambling. Oh, Disney's not going to like that being <laughs> trending. Yeah, you make that trending, the longer that trends, and the more there's articles and people make a stink. I mean, look at all the just CS:GO stuff, like the CS:GO Lotto, and all that yeah. thing that happened. Yeah, it's like yeah. I found this random website I own. It's, it's so weird, though, too, because, like, in one way, I don't really th know if it's good as a society for us to, like, just steamroll over companies or people like this that make these type of mistakes or make mm -hmm. these greedy things. But on the other side, what else do we do? Yeah. Like, what, how do you, like, we, like, for all my life, it's felt like we've been talking about EA and how they're a greedy, greedy company, you know? Mm -hmm. And... I don't know. I mean, that's just that's just the big corporations. I guess general. I just like shouldn't have bought Shadows just... of Mortar. I should. <laughs> I, I just. I feel guilty now. Should have played it and refunded it. Oh shit! What, what was that other? Oh man, though, but the new South Park game wasn't that Ubisoft? Oh yeah, Ubisoft. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! And because I, I did not want to do another Ubisoft game, but mm -hmm. South Park, man. Like, yeah. how, what am I gonna skip over this experience? I've watched. <laughs> I've always loved South Park since like I was a kid. That's like. That's, it's that's what I mean by you can't you can't yeah. almost boycott it. They get they're they're so big that eventually they do something and you're just like this isn't fair. Well, marketing, <laughs> <laughs> marketing and psychology and all these people that pay for like all this market. This is, marketing and psychology are essentially just tied together. And then, so, like, even Animal Crossing for Nintendo on the mobile, like, it's one of those things where I love Animal Crossing, and I know I'm going to play Animal Crossing, and I know I'm going to spend money on Animal Crossing, and Tom Nook's going to be like, yeah, give me your shit, you idiot. And then, but Dude, it's like they're hilarious. playing into that nostalgic fact, even around all their games, like Animal Crossing and Mario and Zelda and all that. Wouldn't it be that hilarious if they released, like, Animal Crossing for the phone, but there was no microtransactions, except for the fact that every few days Tom Nook would ask for like 35 cents real life money <laughs> and you had to pay him to keep playing he's just like give me 35 cents or wait four hours <laughs> like in a lot of ways we'd be angry but if Tom Nook evolved that's the thing EA just didn't role play this enough right? <laughs> yeah. if the loot boxes were all prequel memes they could have done this <laughs> like if it was Jar just the Jar Emperor Binks. being like give me your money <laughs> and then you buy a loot box and you get three Jar Jar skins and he just laughs at you <laughs> <laughs> People would have this. It's all about perception. You yeah. can complain that you know loot boxes are dumb and you know farming Darth Vader is dumb, but if they had memed it well, we would have been okay yeah. with it. Cause that's the power of characterization and stuff too. It's yeah. like, well, Tom Nook wants my money. I mean, he's <laughs> he's Tom Nook. Sure, yeah. take it. Cause, Cause just imagine if like like you know fifty percent of the time you got Jar Jar Binks out of loot boxes, <laughs> you would just be like, they did this on purpose. <laughs> just like the most, he's super common. He's just a magic yeah. one. He's just a weedle, a ratatat. Well, I mean, that's even it's funny. So there's like some power in the humor of it, of just being like they're just goofing like Darth Jar Jar, like ha, ah, it's Darth Jar Jar. He can wait. Kill is that people. in the game? <laughs> that no, would be that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. If they had like eighty dollars for Darth Jar Jar, people'd be like, this is hilarious. This is great. But it's the fact that it's like, no, it's just a thing. It's just a thing we put in because we thought you'd enjoy paying money for it or grinding the shit out of it. It's like, okay. You know what another way they could have done it too? They could have made it so they put in their progression system, but you can't buy loot boxes. And then they release it so you can buy a loot box a month after the game's out. 
Yeah. Because because here's this is this is like oh my god why do companies hire me to be more evil? <laughs> like if you paid me EA, I could tell you how you get away with this shit. All you do, <laughs> people would buy it. They'd be like, it's so great that we're playing a loot box game, but there's no way to buy loot boxes. And then a month later, you release a prequel pack, and then you just have like. The emperor, and he's just like, yes, give me your money. <laughs> like, that would work. <laughs> yeah. Pe would people complain? Yes, but they wouldn't complain like they are now. Oh, it my would God. Your brown, your, like... your brand, your image, and you'd make just as much money, if not more. You could have it so if you're on the, the like, buy all loot crates screen for too long, the emperor just pops up and he's like, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it! Do it! You're yeah. Like, All right. Well, I gotta do it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you're at the purchase screen, it's just he's the emperor. You're like, do it. Give in to the dark side. If they themed loot boxes around giving in to the dark side, we would have ate it up. <laughs> yeah. We would have so ate it up. That. Oh my god, that's so clever. <laughs> Some of you are saying that wouldn't have worked on me. You're not the majority, man. I'm telling you, people would eat this up. <laughs> If when you went to go buy loot boxes, it just the whole screen just turned to the dark side. <laughs> the emperor came down and was like, "Ha ha ha ha, do it." They'd at least buy be more, more forgiving boxes. about it overall, and like if in the grand scheme of things. I don't know. It's just they, they should have. Why do they even make it so you can unlock Darth Vader? Should have been yeah. buy a hundred loot boxes, get Darth Vader. It's the only way. <laughs> Emperor laughs at you. Once you have fully given into the dark side, you can become my disciple. Like that's the <laughs> only way. <laughs> <laughs> it's God genius it. corporate just corporate and you know what the sad thing is too this is gonna happen so you, mm -hmm. you think right now the world and these corporations they're stupid these companies are stupid they don't they're not gamers they're not people who know what to do and, and they don't know how to meme they don't know how to tickle our buttons and make us laugh and like things that are terrible but and they're not in the future but they can pay people like us to tell them about it. In the, in the future, they will. In the future, yeah. they will start to get more nefarious and evil, and this stuff will just creep into our lives, and we'll never know until you sit at the computer and you got to swipe your credit card just to get on the internet. Well, you can you can watch the power of marketing evolve throughout the, like time. Like even just looking at old commercials and stuff, like buy Timmy's box of Cheerios only, and now they're like trying to get the emotional like aspect out like don't you and your family just love sitting down for breakfast and just opening that cheerios he's like have a great day son and he's like thanks dad and it's like yeah you want you that still, family aspect do you have a do you have normal tv still with like cable uh yeah. i still have it for sports if i didn't have sports uh, i wouldn't have it yeah yeah, that's that's the reason I always say is that's the only that's the only thing that makes sense is to have cable yeah. for sports. Like otherwise, um, I wouldn't give a shit. I would just because like man, I never see ads anymore, and so when I go over like my mom's house to like watch mm -hmm. things, it's just terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. That's why like everything evolves and changes, but it changes because people are learning more. Yeah, like, all right, this type of marketing doesn't work. What if, what will work? Or, like, what if we use humor? What if we try to tie to them emotionally? It's like all that, everything's going through their head. This is Torn Mill we're coming up to. This is probably oh, a good yeah. place to stop, eh? This is, probably, this is the, yeah. the classic PvP spot. It is. And I, and I don't think people really fought over this for any real reason. I think it was kind of as close to Alteric Valley. It was a place where people were kind of, like, mid-level. Hmm. So you'd have high-level people, because, like, uh... Western Plague Lands is close, and that's where some high-level people would be. Mm -hmm. and it, would, it would just be like a couple of people start fighting, and then everyone starts fighting. Yeah. Was yeah, it there this tower? Be, this is it. This is the tower. There would always be the like high-level people just killing people, and then you're part, just part of the fight, and you're just like, I'm a peon, <laughs> like trying to fight and help. Yeah, you guys are probably... There would be some point when you, in maybe in the battlegrounds, you've seen towers like this. Maybe mm -hmm. it's like in, in Legion, you know, they had those PvP places, they'd have towers at the kind of the top. All that became was because of this tower that they threw in here for whatever reason. People would come and fight over this, and so then what would happen is the Lion's Town is over in that direction, like over over that way, and mm -hmm. the Horde Tower is over there. Yeah, and they would just fight over this. We'd fight well, for they, no reason. Didn't they add the towers later on? They were capturable. 
Yeah, in like uh, Western Plaguelands and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, to be honest, by the time that stuff got added, I never really remembered any big things happening. Yeah, that's when they Maybe added the, the like, opening day. The you know? what's it called? The jar of dirt meme thing. Blizzard had a really really hard problem um, capturing things that happened naturally in WoW. Yeah, they would try to reproduce them. And, and there's many, many things in World of Warcraft that were Blizzard tried to reproduce something that was like an experience that the community just kind of naturally made, and it mm -hmm. would just kind of fall flat on its face. Yeah. You know? A lot of the yeah. battlegrounds are kind of like that. Yeah, that's true. So Even uh, even when they tried to recreate there it was like, welcome back to PvP Tar and Mill, and it was like, eh. But I don't think we mm -hmm. should fault them at all. Yeah, because they're trying. Because trying to create you know, very specific things that happen naturally is almost impossible. And mm -hmm. it's pretty admirable that Blizzard did so many things just to try and create these type of PvP encounters and fun, you know? The truth yeah. is, in order for you to care, you really had to be part of a guild and, oh, there's that other guild we hate and we just fight for no reason because we're fun and goofy. Yeah. And because the thing is, what we always forget, that's what people liked about that was just the people. That's yeah. That's what was always fun was the people, you know? Yeah, it's just that's the point of the whole like MMORPG is you're playing with a whole bunch of people. And then on top of that, like imagine in real life if you tried to recreate some moment, like maybe like you went out and you had a really crazy time or like a fun time and you like played baseball and then you went and got a beer and you're like, "Wow, that was so fun with my friends." And then someone was like, "Hey, we can do we'll call it just a baseball beer day and we'll organize it and like there's you're losing that sense of like improv." that made it so fun in the moment. And now it's like, well, we're just making it a day now, and like you're expected to do that even if you don't want to do it. And that's kind of mm -hmm. what this was like, where it's like, hey, you guys want to fight at Tar and Mill in South Shore? Well, we'll give you a thing. And it's like, well, it's it loses some of its value when you do that. Mm -hmm. So um, so we were, so we're I'm thinking you're going to want to be Horde. I know you're a Horde guy. If you were going to do role-playing I mean, guilds, you want to be Horde, don't you? I would probably be Horde for this, yeah. I would also want to be Horde, mm. but at the but at the same time, I like Alliance. I played so much Alliance that if I'm going to go back to Classic WoW, I'd almost want to play the thing I already played before, just for the yeah. nostalgia factor. That's, That's uh, why I wanted to be Horde too. Yeah. It. yeah. So I don't know. I guess we would ask people if you guys think that we should do some some dual Classic guilds. My, my well, I'd have to ask my fans. Yeah. But I mean, but I guess there there'd be some crossover because there'd be people like us that are like, well, I like Crandor. But I don't want to. I want to be Alliance. And the, yeah. the people that are like, I like Rob, but fuck he Alliance. He Classic Wow. <laughs> fuck Alliance. <laughs> Plus, like Rob doesn't even like Classic Wow. Doesn't even like it. Fight for me. <laughs> I love Classic Wow. Look for me. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Hey, we did. No, it's, yeah. it's a long way away, though, too, right? Yeah, it's a while away. So. It's we got we got some time to think about it, but it would, it would be fun to do something like that because it was very few chances we could get a chance to do something like that with yeah. Classic WoW. Probably just the one time mm -hmm. that I don't know if we'll get that chance again. Yeah. It's, uh, hey, we actually uh, talked this time without talking about YouTube. and Dude, Twitch we mostly news. talked about WoW. Yeah. And normally just we don't have WoW a big stories. WoW announcement like that. Yeah, no, normally it's just like, what do you think about the new expansion? It's got vehicles and new raids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about that one new class or race they added? Yeah, it kind of looks like it's something. <laughs> Coming soon, vanilla wow loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fantastic. Oh, that's that's how you know that Blizzard's it's it's their time if yep. Classic WoW has loot boxes. And yep. That would... That's that's how you know that this, we're just done, guys. It's time to move <laughs> on to a new company. Yep. Oh. All well, right. it was it was a good Thanksgiving special. It was very yeah. wow related. Very sorry if anybody was getting very frustrated by me. I'm sorry if people turn off the videos because I wasn't full on. This. I assume most people are probably really excited for Classic Wow. I just yeah. have questions. You're just. I, I'm not. I'm excited. I just. You're excited, scared. but you're the person who's like, I'm not getting too excited because you're trying to be more of a realist or something. I'm the. I'm the little the opposite. I'm like, all right, I'm ready for that, but I'm more of an. Uh, I want to relive the nostalgia and see if it really was living up that's, to how that's I remember the best. It. That's the best thing too that's like mm -hmm. the best part of this classic thing and why i'm excited about it is just reliving anything like any yeah. bit of nostalgia will make me feel worth it you know mm -hmm. so yeah all right well where can people oh. find you 
Oh, well, hey, if you want to check me out, you can go to uh, my YouTube on Bruce Willikers uh, and kind of check out. I do a, a role play show. Just, you know, throw one of them on, see if you're interested. You know, it's people role playing and puppets and jokes, and gags. And then, hey, if you like it, well, I mean, you could try and get caught up, but uh, it's like 140 hours of content. Um, good luck. It's pretty, pretty niche. <laughs> I don't really expect any of you guys to check it out, but hey, if you like roleplay nerd stuff, that's what I do. Hell yeah. Well, I guess uh, I guess I'll guess see you for the next Hearthstone <laughs> expansion. See you next year. Oh yeah, we'll do that. That's yeah, funny. we'll do our gimmick things. But for this show, we'll see you next year. See you next year. All right. See you next year. See ya! See ya! <laughs> I stole your thing. <laughs>